hello, hello, hello. How are we enjoying rags to riches? Give me your honest thoughts. Uh, I got to go back a little bit. Kino, welcome back in with the hooligan membership. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amanda, doing dailies and Pat stream. Definitely 2020 vibes. Mandy, don't forget to like the stream. Hashtag Team Fugitive. Okay, okay. Um, let's go hooligans. Mandy with the five months and Banana, welcome in. Brand new, brand new member. Oh my God. So vote in the poll, guys. Which class did you choose? If you're participating, I'm going to be starting my playthrough today. And uh, I was set on a class, right? I was going to do it 100%, but I think I changed my mind. I think I changed my mind. So I think I'm going to do another class. Um, Taylor with the hooligan membership. Welcome back in. Caitlin, rags to riches. Let's go team farmer. Oh my God. So if you guys have not, if you guys don't know rags to riches, first of all, how dare you? Where are you? Um, these are the rules. These are the rules. I've been, I've been staring at these rules and keeping this a secret for a little bit now. And now it's out here. So I feel free. I feel free. My little secrets. Uh, I mean, you guys knew about it for a little bit, but. Uh, Lolo, how's it going with the Hooligan Plus? Welcome back in. So the classes. Let's talk about the classes for a second. I don't want to explain all of the rules because I feel like um, not all the rules matter yet. So if you guys didn't know, the Farmer and Forager class are, the, are like easy mode. Like that's the easier routes to take, 100%. Uh, fashionista is actually the most difficult route to take followed closely by fugitive. So it's like, I would say forager is probably easy mode. Farmer is like kind of medium mode. I guess fugitive is hard and fashionista is like the, the hardest difficulty, but there are pretty, they're all pretty challenging. I gotta say, um, Traces with a hooligan membership. Welcome in. Sandy, I can't decide between farmer or fugitive. Thanks for another fun challenge. We'll be restarting my less than 30 day old island. Oh my God. I'll choose for you. Uh, be a farmer. Be a farmer. Kato sold that. Kato sold that. Excited for the stream. Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. I said welcome into Lolo Crossing. I think so. So I like that we have end game objectives, right? You know, we have something to work work towards. Uh, hard mode was just kind of like, all right, what do we do? <laughs> do? Am I done? I don't know. But there's actually 10 goals to work towards. Um, let's focus in on the restarting rules. Start a new island. Done. Uh, starting villagers pick their house spot. Okay. I need to go, but have a great stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bewick sold you on Fugitive. Dude. How great was everyone in that video, by the way? I was going for like Nintendo Direct vibes or like old Animal Crossing trailer vibes. I hope I I hope I hit that for you. Hope you got the lit up jack-o'-lantern. Oh my God. Okay, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Oops. We'll, uh, we'll consult the rules as we go. Watch the trailer three times. Oh my God. I'm going to be a forger for the do-rag alone. Listen, that's, that's a selling point. What I'm seeing, I mean, the poll is suggesting this too. Forager definitely seems to be the most popular by far. Like I'm pretty sure every playthrough I've seen except Bewix, like streamer wise has been forager or no Kato's farmer, Kato's farmer. Erica, thank you so much for the 25 months. New Island, by the way, this is my hard mode island. I failed miserably. And the one thing that makes me the most upset, we never, we never kicked off Rocket. We got Rocket's photo. But we never kicked Rocket off. Easy motor makes sense. Q 
Okay, you picked Forager too. I literally just watched your video. So I, I saw that you scheduled your premiere or whatever. And I was like, okay, I was going to stream right then and there. But you know, I'm like, no, I got to watch this. And then right when your premiere was done, <laughs> another one of your videos started auto-playing. And I almost missed this stream. R.I.P. Bramble. It's gone. I didn't even want to, you know, I didn't even want to be dramatic about it. It's gone. It was a failure. We're not, we're not looking back. We're not looking back. Excited so to watch this stream. One year as a member, many years as a hooligan. Megan, thank you, thank you. And Heather, you're excited for this? I see that pumpkin. All right. Uh, this is your first time. Yeah, it is. And it was one of your, uh, it was one of your old memory card videos. So I'm like, ah, I gotta go. All right. Should we go P money? Should we go P money? I'll go Pat. Maybe Patrick. Patrick? Pat sounds like, Pat sounds like a mechanic. Nothing wrong with that. But we're trying to be like stinking rich. Patrick seems like a failed lawyer. I'm going to go with Patrick. Uh, what's my birthday, everyone? Do you guys remember? Hope with the five. I haven't started yet as I created my forever island, which I don't want to reset as I spent seven hours getting it. Oh, my God. 11.24. Love you guys. It is. Oh, I was going to put it as the starting date. Oh, wait, actually, hold on a second. Hold on a second. My bad. This doesn't count as a reset because I haven't seen anything. Okay, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> I already messed up. That's not even a reset because I didn't even see the island or villagers. Uh, I wanted to sync it with real time. I wanted to sync it with real time because I feel like I'm going to get confused. I'm going to get confused. I didn't even choose my, I didn't even choose my face yet. This isn't, no, no. I didn't even choose my face yet. That's, this isn't, no, it's not a reset. This isn't a reset. Abby says, Pat, wow, following the rules. Great challenge. Looking good today. Thank you so much. I didn't even pick my smile yet, okay? This isn't a reset. I want to be synced up to the clock, okay? Kate, Pat, you are so faithful to the rules. Love you and love your channel. Teehee. Thank you so much for that. I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. Okay, we'll be flying to the island. All right. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Can I just create a new character? Absolutely not. You kidding me? If any of you are going to come into my stream and, and ask for exceptions, you're talking to the wrong guy. Okay? You guys want a challenge? Or you want handouts? All right. Now, I could lie about my birthday. I could lie about my birthday so that I can get presents very quickly and I could sell those presents for money. Patrick, more like Patrickery. Uh, Reeman, hello, hello. Hope you only get double South Rivers. No, no, I actually don't want that. I will we'll tell the truth once in this playthrough. November 24th, love it. What are the rules for this challenge? Uh, best way to read all the rules is to go in Discord. Uh, but here are the rules, part one, and then we have a end game objectives, and then what class, you have to pick a class to start this. <laughs> I'm a fugitive, not sure what my wife is going to pick. Dale, okay. See, Dale, this is what you should do. You and your wife need to work together. If you're playing this with a, with a partner, by the way, the best two to choose 
is fashionista and forager because those are the only two with like specific like you need those roles so if you're gonna play with a homie that's what i that's what i think okay all right um god i hate these hairstyles so much <laughs> that i guess Okay, eyes. Should I go cutesy this time? Should I go cutesy? Just to throw people off a little bit? Love this new idea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad everyone's enjoying it. Should I go cutesy? I'm just a little kid. Um. I don't want to go cutesy. This is what I always pick. Uh, this is the new hard mode? Uh, pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, you know, that's what I always pick. Yeah, who's that? No, I always pick this one. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, I guess we'll... I guess we'll stick with that. Mouth, that's fine. No blush today. Yeah, it looks great. Okay. Now I have an idea for my island. All right. No rocket vibes, please. No. Okay. Okay. Cheetos, how's it going? Guys, if you're not subscribed, by the way, please do. Cause you can't chat in the chat if you're not. All right, picking an island. Okay. When you know, you know. The one requirement I wanted, I wanted the res services to be as close to the entrance as possible. This one probably is going to be the one. No double south rivers. Peninsula, not great. Beaches look nice. I wanted the, I, okay. I'll tell you more why I wanted this, but okay, let's go to the next one. This one's not bad either. Wait, does this one have a little pond? It doesn't have a little pond in the front though. Love the new challenge. Stayed up till two playing. Grab my switch again as soon as I woke up. Oh my God, gray skies. Okay. This one's not bad. That's not bad. That's, that's, that's okay. All right, this one. What's the difference between that one? Okay. Or this one. That's not bad either. That's a pretty good one. Wait, I got all good ones. I got all good ones. I wish this one had a pond. I wish this one had a pond. Which one would you guys choose? That, this one is solid. That one's really good. Like, res services kind of set away. We got that little pond there. These are all good. Wow. I'm usually a little picky. I'm not Kato picky, but I'm a little picky. I'm going top left. I'm going top left. Wonderful choice. Okay. But now it depends on the villagers. Because I am not starting this challenge with someone who looks like a foot. Okay. Uh, what would I bring on a deserted island? Probably some Cheetos. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm not even picky about the the airport color. I am picky about villagers, though. Okay, here we go. Oh, please. <laughs> it's a great idea. I'm about to have so much ACNH content to watch. Let's go, Chloe. That's why I secretly do all of this, by the way. So I have stuff to watch from other people.
Raven, delete that. Truffles, can Truffles be a starter? No. <laughs> no, she can't. Wait, can she? All right, love it, but we're not. Kayla, thank you for the 16 months. Oh, please. Starting fruit? I don't even have a preference for that, honestly. Cherries. Okay. I I've never had cherries before. Cherries is fine. How close is it? Dude, look how close that is. Holy crap, dude. That red service is so close. Um, okay, Agnes is cute, Cody's whatever. Okay, so here's the thing. Is my chat broken? <clears throat> okay. Agnes and Cody is not bad. Orange Airport? Dude, I can't. I can't restart. So, if you guys remember, I'm almost 100% positive. These were my same exact starting villagers for hard mode. And then I was like, eh, I don't really like Cody. So I reset and got freaking rocket. Two more months till a ripe pumpkin. So excited for this new challenge. It's very creative, Lewis. Thank you. Agnes is cute. And Cody. Let's look at Cody. I think I'm going to keep this. I want, okay. Orange airport. Beautiful. Orange on brand. Close res services. And like, not bad. Vil yeah, I'm going to keep this. I think I'm going to keep this. Well, Krista, Cody's fine compared to what could have happened. It's really close, but I actually want this. I, I want a close res services. Starting flowers, that's true. I didn't see anything. I mean, everyone is going to ask to leave eventually anyway, though. So, like, step one, don't get attached to your starting villagers. Although they do help you with free time travel. Take the gamble and reroll, Kirsten. You are a little mean lord. I'm not gonna re-roll because I'm gonna be stuck with freaking rocket or some other gross thing. Listen to Kirsten. She's very wise. This is like, this is a mid start. I, I like Agnes. I think Agnes is cool. Cody. No. Cody's not, he's not bad. He's not great. There's no way I'm re-rolling. No, I can't re-roll. Cherries, I kind of wanted. Orange Airport, close res serve. No, I'm not. I'm literally not re-rolling. I'm not re-rolling. It works out for some people. Don't work out for me. Okay, let's get our tent. I know it'd be content. Sometimes it's not. The content is the challenge in this case. Okay. Got roses and starting flowers after I decided on Rosewood for the name. Now, I'm, I, fool me once, fool me twice, literally fool me like four times at this point. What's my flower? 
Is there a way to see it? And mums? Bro, I there's no way I'm re-rolling. Best flower in the game, best airport color. There's no way I'm re-rolling. Yeah, whatever. Happy two years to me. Love the badge, Tia. Thank you so much. Okay. So first rule is they have to choose where they live. Okay, Agnes. Oh wait, I can't even can't even look at my map yet. Why reroll lots of real estate in the back? Reuben, exactly. And here's what I want to do for this island. I want to make the biggest <laughs> like mansion build ever. I'm going to have like a giant yard. It's going to take up like the whole island. And then all my little scrub villagers are going to live on the beach. Oh, wait, I have to put mine down? Okay, where, where am I going to go? <laughs> Let's do it. Oh yeah, let's put mine right. Oh, I can't fit it right there. I guess this doesn't matter really. Um, let's not get rid of resources now. What class am I doing? I will reveal soon. What class do you think I'm doing? Talk to me. Okay, where did, um... Okay, Cody's up here. I mean, I am on the graphic. Looks good to me. Looks great. <clears throat> All right, my boy Cody's there. I gotta lie to myself to enjoy him better. And then Agnes is right here. Agnes, yeah, I, I want to be away from Cody too. So, um, having so each starting villager that's on your island is a 5,000 bell discount to time travel because time traveling is usually 10K. So right now, time traveling is free for me. But if they if they ask to leave, then I lose part of that discount, you know? Looks great. I have not played Pikmin yet. So I've been kind of busy lately, but um, I went to Target when Pikmin, Pikmin came out yesterday? Yeah. I went to Target and I, I was, I asked, cause I didn't see the game. So I went up to the guy and I was like, Hey, uh, I'm just looking for Pikmin, Pikmin four for the switch, <laughs> bro. I was wearing a Pikmin shirt to Target. It's like, what? So I was like, yeah, do you have Pikmin four? And he's like, we're sold out. It was sold out at my Target and I didn't want to like drive around all day. So I was like, okay. I'll get it eventually. I love Pikmin though. I will definitely get it. What if your starter leaves and you get them back on a hunt? Don't count. It's a different person. Uh, he said that they got only five copies. Yeah. An island warming party. We'll just need a few supplies. Yeah, they only got five copies. There wasn't even any, like, Pikmin signs or anything. Like, you know how when big games come out, it's like, oh, buy Super Smash Bros. Like, there was no Pikmin signs? Or, like, what the heck? For a target, yeah, it seems low. Yeah, but I, I definitely, I'm excited to play. I did not play the demo though. Like I wanted to go into it 
you know, I wanted to go in blinds. Mac, welcome in. I've been so excited to start this. Literally just sitting on the rules forever. I'll get it though. I think, um, I looked on Amazon and I think they would, I didn't get it yet, but it said the earliest delivery was Monday or Tuesday. I don't know. The beginning music, we get some cherries too. I'm already in uh, money making mode right now. 10K per, so time travel. So right now, if I wanted to time travel to the next day, it'd be 10K. And then another day would be 10K. In game day. Okay, looks good. I do have an island name in mind. But yeah, yeah, I have my starter, so it's free. Uh, if you pick Fugitive, it's always free, so that's good. <clears throat> it's gonna be challenging though, because you can only time travel like one day at a time, and you have to complete whatever Critterpedia. Why wouldn't you buy the game online? I like, uh, so all the major Nintendo games, I like to collect like the physical versions. So uh, yeah, I need it. I need it physically. I know there's really no point in 2023 to do that. But. All right, what class? Looking at the poll, we have 35% Forager, 33% Farmer, 22% Fugitive, and 11% Fashionista. So, you know what? That's, as the game maker, that's actually nice to see. There's not, like, a total blowout. There's not, you know, one that no one's picking. That's good. Okay. All right, so let's pick the island name. So the island name, the reason why I stopped here is because based on your class, you have to have your island starting with a specific letter. So let's let's uh, let's do a little, let's do a little rundown here, farmer. You have, so your red, the abilities that are written in red are only active when you're wearing the specific clothing. So farmer is farmer overalls. Island name must start with an F. F is a good letter. Uh, 60 crops in 10 sister fruit trees for selling. So that's directly to Nooks. Uh, must complete fish critterpedia. The fish are kind of difficult to do. Uh, okay, can sell crops, fruit, bugs directly to nooks. Dude, bugs, That those are all good. Does not have to buy turnips on Sunday. I think that's literally the best perk on there. You're saving 50K a week. Uh, and if leaf appears, you have to pay 20K. That's not bad. Forager, let's see why everyone's picking Forager. Island name must start with an R. Okay. The do-rag is the clothing item. Can sell fish, forageables, fossils, tree items directly to nooks. Dude, that's great. That's great. Must complete fossil and sea creature critterpedia. Okay. So uh, you have to complete two instead of just one. So that's a little challenging. Can deny campsite villagers. You guys know how much I dislike villagers. Certain ones. So that's cool. Um, only island that can craft items for number nine. So number nine, you have to craft golden series. You have to cr craft certain things. So you can only do it on a for uh, forager island. And if Sahara appears, you have to pay 20K. That's not bad. I feel like she's kind of rare. 
All right, fashionista, only active when wearing a uh, tuxedo jacket or chic tuxedo dress. So there's two options. Island name must start with an S. Can sell clothes, flowers, and tree items directly to nooks. I don't know if that's good or not. That doesn't sound good. Complete art critter pedia. That right there is, I think, the toughest part of that class. That's why I think it's the most difficult. Art critter pedia is not good. Uh, 3K island entry fee instead of 2K. So you can charge people an extra 1K if they visit your island. That's pretty good. Uh, only island that can sell crowns for objective one. So you need to purchase one royal crown to beat the game. So you need a fashionista. Um, and if LaBelle, uh, label, I don't know how you say it, appears on your island, 20k fee, not bad. Thanks for making another challenge. Jelly, I got you. So that's a pretty difficult class, man. All right, Fugitive. Look at that. Who's that sexy guy? Only active when wearing a superhero mask or a paper bag hood. So Fugitive and Fashionista have two different options. That's not bad. Island name must start with a G. Okay. Can visit two Nook Mile ticket islands per day. So, the Fugitive can't sell anything directly to Nook's Cranny. But they can go to two islands. So, like, maybe you get Money Rock, you know? Does not have to pay island admission fees. That's cool. Does not have to pay to time travel. That's literally the best part of this class. If Red appears, 99k fee. Okay. So, what do I pick? What do I pick? Sarah, how's it going? So, I'm not going to do farmer. And the reason why I'm not going to do farmer is because it's very close to hard mode. Like, hard mode essentially was... Far like, you were a farmer, pretty much. Forager, I think I'm not going to do Forager because a lot of people are doing it. So, I don't know. I kind of want to mix it up a little bit. I'm torn between Fashionista and Fugitive. If no Nintendo Switch Online, do you get items on your own island? Yeah, so I did a FAQ in Discord. If you don't have Nintendo Switch Online or a way to go to other players' islands... You can do all this solo. It doesn't matter. Christian with the gifted membership. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm torn. Art Critterpedia sounds like an absolute nightmare. But so does the red. Every time you see red. By the way, I not a lot of people are talking about this. But one of the end game objectives... You can do this whenever you want. One of the end game objectives, I know I'm hiding myself, uh, fully upgraded house and upgraded Harv's Island. So, if you're a fugitive and you fully upgrade Harv's Island, you're going to see red a lot. If you ever, if you ever want to go to Harv's Island, that's a lot. And also, who else is there? Leaf is there. And Sahara's here. I can see you being a fashion icon. <laughs> the one who wears one outfit. Um, also, one other thing I want to tell you about this island in particular. I'm, I, I want to complete this challenge. Like, I'm going to complete this challenge, no matter what. Um... But I also want this to be my 100% Animal Crossing file. I want a 100% Animal Crossing on this island. I want to do all the Nook Mile tasks. I want to do everything. But we're going to focus on this challenge. Okay. Um, all right. Let's 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 pick an island name. You guys ready? You guys ready? What class?
class did I choose? What class did I choose? Did I misspell it? <laughs> I hope I didn't. All right, here we go. Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. <laughs> Fashionistas, rise up! We are doing the fashionista class. It's the most difficult. It's the most challenging. And you all need me for them crowns, okay? We're doing fashionista. <laughs> We're doing fashionista. I mean, I could re-roll. I haven't done a re-roll yet. I just need that tuxedo jacket. Fashionista. Honestly, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. If you guys, if you guys watched the video, the trailer for this, Cleo sold me. Dude, Cleo 100% sold me. Watch Cleo's part. Shade. Oh, I'm going to shade so many people. This is great. It's because I love Museum Day. But here's the other thing. I can go to Harv's. I can go to Harv's and recruit Red, and he sells art, right? It's not that bad. I don't have to... I don't have to get all dirty and stuff. Wait, what? Uh, let's see. Oops, sorry about that. Um... Oh, I guess so. If red appears on your island. Okay, then Harv's doesn't matter. Okay, never mind that. If label appears on... Damn. I should have... I should have made the rules like if you see red. Alright. You guys got lucky. You guys got lucky. Alright. Finding all the loopholes. Guys, keep me in check. Listen. Keep me in check. Can you please say a word or two? Damn, I almost got away with it too. All right, fashionista playthrough, let's go. So, let's go back to this. Island name must start with an S, done. We need the tuxedo jacket. Has to complete art critterpedia. Only island that can sell crowns, love it. And label. So we don't really have to worry about anything. So any class, so no matter what class you are, you can sell anything to the Dropbox. But it's like, depending on your class, you get that extra boost because the Dropbox takes what? Like 20% or something? All right. The island's name is Shade. Shade's kind of cute. I know I should have I should have made graphics for like each of the each of the classes. Okay. Cool. Love it. All right. Great. Let's uh let's get all the fruit. How come you went with the shade? I don't know, it kind of sounds kind of sounds devious. Kind of sounds uh, against the rules, you know. Plus, Bewick did fugitive, so he could be my homie. Kato did farmer, and everyone else did forager. So I'm gonna create a super group, you know. I'm gonna create a super group. Um. It's funny because the, uh, the early, like, so I wrote all these, like, rules down on a notes app when I first was coming up with this. And originally, the fashionista class was going to be the only one that could wear clothes that you can buy. And I think if that was the case, more people would have chose fashionista, but...
Yeah, that should work. There we go. Love it. So that's what my class can do. Thank you, Allie. All right, we'll get all the fruit. I should weed everything. Uh, off topic, but did you ever play Harvestella? It's on sale for 30 right now. So, te so tempted, but not sure if it's worth the buy. I played a little bit of Harvestella and I, and I enjoyed it. I think... Well, what happens with every game, like another game came out. So I kind of like, I kind of like dropped off, but I like Harvestella. I, I think people are really hard on it, but um, 30 is a great price. 30 is a great price. It's more like a uh, combat focused, like dungeon crawling sort of thing, but. Uh, maybe I'll go do that. Okay. 30 is what it's worth. Yeah, 60 is rough for that game. Tree items to nook, that's anything that comes out of a tree. Yeah, so like... Like the items that come out of the tree or... Would you count fruit? I know I made the rules, but like when I, when I first thought of tree items, I just thought of the items that can come out of trees, but... We'll see. We'll see when we get there. We'll see what we shake out of trees. Linda, how's it going? All right, now it'll sync up with real world. And I synced it up to my time exactly so I wouldn't get confused. July, that's not bad. I wouldn't count for... Yeah, I, I think for this playthrough, I'm only going to count... I'm only gonna count the items that come out, maybe. Like a random couch or something. Decide to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. It's all the way, right, Daddy O? You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. Should we tell him? <laughs> Should we tell him? The world was made for exploring, you know. Mitchell, how's it going? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat. I don't know if KK's feeling alright. Who's been on the road? Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. <laughs> Immortals Phoenix Rising... I heard that was a good game, too. I never played that, though. 19 for... That sounds like a good deal, though. All right, KK. KK is the opposite of a fashionista. He just goes around nude. Yeah, the live stream will go up as a normal video. Yep. I have another question. Is it actually possible to get a crown from Wisp? Because that would be crazy. I don't think so. Doesn't he only get furniture items? Now, here's a question for you. Can villagers gift... You villagers can gift you clothes, right? So I might get a tuxedo jacket from a villager. Right? I think so. Am Swizzle, how's it going? KK screen lets you know things are getting real. Hey, you know this fun game you bought? Well, let's remember life for a second. How's it going, dude? Uh, possible, but very rare. Okay. I needed that. Hey, Pat, happy 27 months. Excited to watch Rags to Riches. Such a cool idea, but can't play because I'm too wrapped into Sims 4 Horse Ranch Pack. How is that? I heard some mixed things on that. I have no idea. I, they added horse riding? I have no idea. Lily with the six. Thank you so much. Thank you for the super sticker. I 
I wonder if they're going to gift me the tuxedo jacket. That would be great. Are you kidding me? Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Have you ever used a smartphone before? No, I'm 107 years old. Uh, yeah. Normally this would not be free of charge, but as you're getting seated, is there an extra bonus? Cool. Mm, I don't need it. I want to pick no. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. Only island that can sell crowns for objective one. So if you're a fashionista, you can... You could like charge people to buy them at Abel's or you can buy them for like millions. Like, what is it? A million? And you could like resell it for three million or something. Like, I don't know. It's all what people would pay, but you only need one. So like, you gotta get one. Uh, okay. So yeah, if you see a royal crown on your island and you're not a fashionista, then you can't. You can't get it. Laura, how's it going? I didn't make a DA for the hard mode island. I don't think anyway. Just because we really didn't do anything on it. And I didn't want people go going to visit Rocket. Saw them at market. I think like early game strat is finding all of the clothes that the other classes need. I think that creator code is still active though, Lewis. Like I, I, I think I could still download that path if I wanted to. And I actually might. All right, let's look at the map. I'm liking the map. So, okay. I knew I was going to pick Fashionista before we started. Like, I was still kind of uh, debating Fugitive. But one of the things for Fashionista... Uh, no, that's not it. Is... Number 10. 25 posts on your community board from other Rags to Riches players. 35 for Fashionista. So I want to just, if I want to invite people over just to write on the board, bam, it's right there. No need to get lost. Okay, we already got Nook Miles, beautiful. I go with the five. Can I pay a penalty to the trash so I can tell a villager no if they want to leave? You could definitely do that. It's not in the rules, but like if you want to make your own rule, like, uh, I don't know. 20k, 50k, whatever you think is fair. Does the Terry cloth do rag count for Forager? I mean, these. Listen, the Forager class. I'm not. I'm gonna call you out right now. Okay, the Forager class. What more do you want? Okay, you want a little bib? to eat your baby food with? It says do-rag in quotes, okay? It's a do-rag! Find a do-rag like the rest of us need to find our own clothing item. Hey, Pat, the Nook Mile has a do-rag. Can I get that? Yeah, do you want a booster seat too? <laughs> you don't hear Kato saying, hey, I found overalls, but... No. I told you guys, if you're looking for exceptions with me, it ain't gonna happen. If you ask someone else, they might say, yeah, go for it. Cheers to our fashion icon, P Money. P Money. Thank you. 
All right. Hey, you know what? Does the uh, does the wedding tuxedo count for me? <laughs> so is that a yes or a no? You can, if you want to play that way, go for it. All right. I should just keep picking stuff up. I always forget how to start Animal Crossing. The wedding tux. I mean, it's one thing if I wrote like do rag, if the, if the rules said do rag, but it's quotes. It's like a specific item. And you know what? It, that's gonna be the rewarding experience when you go into Abel's and you and you see the do rag and you're like, oh my god. I accomplished something. Now I can, now I unlock more stuff. Oh my God. Pat's a genius. It's going to be worth it, guys. It's going to be worth it. As a true fashionista, I'm reserving the right to make a call based on fashion. My neighbors asked if you can stop. No, I'm not yelling, Bewick neighbors. <laughs> All right, Thomas, let's get to it. I'm looking to get stinky rich. Welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. <laughs> Buick's about to get evicted. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's take a look. God. All right, we got our tools here. Lovely. I mean, I don't really need any of that stuff. By the way, so the weekends are open for markets now. Before it was just Sunday, now it's open. But like, besides the clothing items, what are you gonna buy? I feel like the prices on stuff is gonna go way down. Hard mode, people were buying scooters for a million dollars. This mode, you are I don't think you're gonna get a lot. Oh, damn it. I didn't, I wanted to do what's for sale. Fruit, yeah. Fruit would be cool. So early game, we could sell everything because we don't have the deposit box yet. Pat always causing chaos and mayhem. Love it. <laughs> Mitchell. Close to that next badge. Can we sell hybrids? So only the fashionista class. I mean, you can sell hybrids to the box, but the fashionista class can sell it directly to Nooks. So, and like, correct me if I'm wrong. Don't hybrids sell for like a lot? Maybe like certain ones. That's another reason why I, I picked this class because I'm not really familiar with flowers at all in this game. Oh, to other players? I mean, it doesn't say it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Like, if you pick them? Okay. Uh, what should I do? All right, DIY workshop, lovely. Mm -mm -mm. Um, crafted items, they weren't, they weren't specified in the rules. So I think everyone can craft items, but you have to sell it to the box. 
I'm confused about the top 10 villager thing. So there's a website called Animal Crossing Portal. And basically you can go on there and vote like for who you think's the best villager. And basically it, it takes all of those results and makes a top 400. How many villagers are there? 413. It makes like a top 413 based on all of the votes. So you have to have at least two of those, the top 10, whatever ranking. It does change every month though. So that's going to be challenging. But I'll have to check that out at some point. Somehow Sterling is in the top 10 right now. You know, we could rally and we could vote someone to the top 10. I'm just saying, I'm just saying we could vote someone to the top 10. If we all decide on a villager, Phil is second. I'm going to puke. What? Truffles is not top 10. I actually think it would be really cute for like all the rags to riches, like players to vote someone to the top. Like just as like, oh, why is that random villager at the top? Oh, it's cause rags to riches. We should do that. We should all like pick one villager. All right, I need sticks. <clears throat> Ewick. Well, don't go putting your votes in yet. We got to decide on a villager. I think Maple's number one right now, right? Who Who is like a... Who like looks like a... Rich snob. Like you know they got money. Oh, let's go. Rags to riches. Erica, yeah, I think you're right. Dude. Guys. I'm, I'm going to make this request. Can we please vote Marlo? <laughs> Can we please vote Marlo? Marlo's a mob boss. Can you go to Animal Crossing Portal and vote Marlo as the top villager? Please. <laughs> Dude, why? If you went on there and you're like, oh, I haven't played Animal Crossing in a while. Please make it Marlo. That would be cool. Because Marlo, yeah, mob boss, you know. And that would be easy for everyone that needs top 10 villagers because then we can all universally find Marlo. I could have been selfish and said Eric. Oh, let's go. Tree items. Plastic pool. Love that. He's at 206. Okay, challenge accepted. He's literally half. He's on the halfway point on a list. Please vote Marlo. Tree items make Fashionista easier than Fugitive. Bewick. You think you think a plastic pool is going to help me retire? You don't have to pay to time travel. You can go to two Nook Mile ticket islands. No fees. I gotta collect art. 
Hey, Pat, excited to catch a stream between shifts. Love all that you do for the AC community. Brooke, thank you so much. Bro, art alone makes this class the hardest. Come on. And I still got to buy turnips every week. What a year this has been. Thank you for your commitment to this ACNH community. Jenny, thank you so much. Yeah, Sterling being in the top 10. I can't, I can't have that happen. We need Marlo up there. A lot of people might not let fugitives in their island because they won't pay the fee. I mean, it's only 2K. It's not that big of a deal. And fugitives might have, might have the bells. I'm letting anyone on my island. What if you can't get 50K by Sunday for turnips? So the first two weeks are free. The first two Sundays are free. You don't have to worry about that. If you don't have 50K bells by week three, then it's game over. You deserve a game over. Uh, Jordan, 21 months. Pat, stream here for it. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the fun always. Jordan, thank you so much. Hey, Pat, today is my grandma's 95th birthday. That's amazing. Happy birthday, grandma. Sarah, welcome back in with a hooligan membership. All right, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Okay, I can sell to you. All right, I got the fishing rod. Now, I don't have any two-time Nook Mile goals. I don't have any traveling NPCs, so I could just go to the next day. Eight hundred seventy-five bells. Yeah, tree items don't mean nothing. Oh yeah, Nook shopping. Corey, how's it going? I thought I couldn't sell here until the box came. Okay. Come on, Kay. Garbage can. I'm not this, I shouldn't be this excited for a garbage can because that means I can now pay my fees. Uh, yeah, let's go with the garbage can. Need that. First day too, that's not bad. Uh, no tuxedo jacket. Can you even get it from this? I don't even think so. Gnome theory, love that. Uh, the Mario stuff. I don't think I need this yet. Oh, and I got all the camp stuff, too. Yeah, I don't need anything else. Pink chair with the five. Can you have a free time travel pass if you have to change the time you're playing on Sunday so you can see Daisy? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. I don't have any friends that currently play ACNH, much less, much less playing Racks or Riches. Okay. I want to make this disclaimer. If you can't play with people or online, you can change this. You can alter it to be a solo challenge. But I guarantee no one out there will have trouble with 25 people coming to your island to sign the board. I will personally at everyone to go sign boards. You will have people to play with. If you join the Discord, you have a ton of people. I will 100% sign boards. So the normal requirement is 25 boards. 
So, or 25 people have to sign your board. Fashionista is 35. All right. So, listen, we're starting racks to riches. No shame in dumpster diving. Okay. I'm taking everything. Okay. So, we can start like fishing and stuff. Why not? I would love to sign boards. You're in the Discord? Perfect. All the Rags to Riches channels are open to anyone. You don't have to be a member or anything. And I guarantee people will people will go over. And you know what you can do even? You could be like, hey guys. Like who said you can't do this? You could be like, hey guys, I need people to sign my board. And you know what? I won't charge you an admission fee. I'll be nice. Free trip. I just need that signature. You gotta sell it. And if you feel really bad about bending the rules, pay their admission fee. Why not? Why not? Oh, I gotta buy the tools. That's what I, that's what I wanted to do. Streamers need a design to display so everyone knows which role they choose. Oh, like, oh, I got you. Maybe I'll put like a shirt logo near me as a fashionista. So, I don't, I don't have to complete any of the bug or fish, um, museum critterpedias. But if I discover a new one, I have to donate it before I can sell it. So technically, I can't sell any, any bugs or fish even early game. So I'll just stock up. Oops, scared that one away. Using my little bro switch for this challenge. Love it. Little brothers out there, I'm not liable for any data that may be deleted in favor of this challenge. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the mods in general. Mods have been helping me out. They were helping me out with uh, the FAQ. We have a big FAQ in the Discord right now that answers a lot of the questions people have. <clears throat> and I presented them with the rules when they were done and they gave me a lot of good feedback. So that's good. I was unsure about starting this, but it actually seems like it's going to be even more fun than hard mode. Ooh. The thing that I love about this one compared is um, the end game objectives. Crossing minute with the raid. Dan, what's up, dude? I've been, I've been a little lurky on your streams and uh, off to a good start. I like it. Um, but the end game objectives, I think this is what separates itself from hard mode. There's actually goals to uh, to work towards. Why didn't I do that for hard mode? <laughs> Not the do rag stream message. There's a listen. There's controversy with the do rag, okay? And you know how those foragers are. They want the easy way out. They always want the easy way out. 
Hey Pat, does a does a checker do rag count? Does it say do rag? Come on. <laughs> I picked Fashionista. I was gonna pick Fugitive at first, but I'm like, bro. Oh my god! I, see, I need all of those. Uh, there's no few. Uh, there's no Fashionista love out there. I'm not, I am not going to say the word do-rag anymore in this stream. It could be up to you, but I'm pretty sure there's an item that's just called do-rag, right? Damn it, I said it. <laughs> okay, I probably... Okay, yeah. It is the checkered one. It is the checkered one. Do rag. Uh Oh wait, I'm not going to I'm not going to sell these yet. I'm not going to sell these. Can a baseball cap count as a do rag? Well, you know, it's pretty close. All right, so this I'm actually gonna follow. I know that you can sell like pretty much everything to the nooks when you first start, but bugs and fish, I'm not going to do that. I'll be nice. Because of the whole, you have to donate first, you know? I'll follow that. Let's actually place this first. Okay, there's my fish. I didn't want to do that. Okay. That's all there waiting to be donated. Do we just have to do like Nook Mile stuff now? I think so, right? Pay off our loan. But yeah, I mean, if you want to change the item, you totally can. I'm, I don't. I don't really care. Uh. All right, I want to buy some tools. Let's get the net. Oh wait, no, I probably should get the uh, DIY for beginners, right? We're investing. Thanks for setting all this up. Having a lot of fun. I do need to head off, but have a great day. Dan, no problem. Thank you for uh, bringing your viewers over. I appreciate that. Guys, if you haven't checked out Crossing Minute, check him out. Check him out. Check him out. He's uh, Buick's accomplice in, in Dinkum. Slingshot recipe. Let's do it. Kato did make the graphic, but I wouldn't blame anything on Kato yet. Watering can? I'm going to focus in on flowers, I think, so I, I'm i going to need that. I need more stuff. Don't go away yet. Don't go away yet. Okay. Uh... And I believe, I believe Dan's doing a... Uh... Forager playthrough. Okay. Good. Do I have anything I can sell? I think just like shells. What's this? Cardboard box? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, 
Okay, let's learn. Can we learn? Yeah, we can. All right, we got our tools here. All right, let me ask you guys a question first. A or B? This is A. This is B. Which one is the right one? I've also seen, I've also seen C. <clears throat> oh, we got another one. Lovely. I always put it on the top row. I just think it's easier. Uh, what else do we got to do? Take a picture. Oh my god, I, I didn't do a major thing of this challenge. I forgot to write this. All right. Rags to riches. Love it. All right, now we're official. I did pick my class. Uh, I am the fashionista class. So my name, my island name starts with an S. We already did that. Once I get the tuxedo jacket, then we unlock more stuff, but I have to complete the art. Um, if, uh, if label appears, I have to pay a fee and I'm the only, well, the only class that can sell crowns. I was so sure you would go fugitive. I was sure too, until I saw a demand. And when you're trying to make money, gather around, gather around. Uncle Pat's gonna teach you a, <laughs> Uncle Pat's gonna teach you a uh, business lesson, okay? Now, when you see demand, that just means profit, okay? There's a need in the market right now. Grab your notepad. There's a need in the market right now, okay? Not a lot of fashionistas. You're all gonna be scrambling to uh, to buy your crowns. And who's gonna be there to sell you one? Yeah, Pat from Shade, okay? That's a good fish, can't sell it though. <clears throat> so yeah, maybe I'll be nice. Maybe I'll just charge like a... Maybe I'll charge a 100k entry fee if you want to buy a crown. Plus, welcome in, welcome in. We're even more like cap patalism. I like the way you think. Already getting garbage. Come on. I don't want that. Love the rags for riches idea. Honestly, like, you know, obviously making the classes and stuff, that's unique, but the Sims community loves rags to riches. And I saw hard mode taken off and I was like, you know what? Like, let's just bring another popular challenge over to AC. Exactly. If they have the million bells to spend on the crown, 100K doesn't seem too high. 
I see I just sold you on that. Just sold you on that idea. I think it's pretty fair. 100k to complete an end game goal. <clears throat> um I started with Agnes and Cody. But besides them, those are my like time travel discount coupons. Honestly, I'm not even looking at them as villagers. <laughs> my res services is so close. Love that because I need signatures from people. So you come to my island, sign, get the hell out, right? So love that. My airport's orange. I start with cherries and mums. We're killing it right now. And this is going to be a tuxedo jacket. Here we go. I didn't make any rules about balloon items. I should have. All right, so all the first time fish I'm going to put over here. Love the idea because I'm not big into decorating, so this gives more to do. Yeah, I. you know what? I was kind of uh, worried about the fact that this isn't a design-heavy challenge. But I think the thing for me is the four different ways to play. I, I, I just really like that. I think that's going to keep it fresh. No, I can't really change the... Uh, I can't really change rules now. So many people have started playing it and introducing it, so... Balloons should be forager items. What more do you want? What more do you want? What else should foragers get, huh? Joe's Farmers and I'm loving trying to get all the fish. Love that. And, um... Farmers... Okay, yeah, yeah. So I did that. So farmers have to complete the fish critterpedia, but they can only sell bugs directly to nooks so it's like you're gonna want to get both and i think the forager is what the opposite yeah fish you can only sell so that's cool makes you get both i'm excited to not have to fish <laughs> yeah i mean like i know for a fact most people aren't doing fashionista because of the art. Like, I, I knew that was going to be a deterrent. Let's go. Wanted to go forager, but you are selling... Shaming me into Fashionista? Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. Fashionista is tough. Fashionista and Fugitive are tough. Those are the toughest routes you can go. So, like... I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And also, the things that we can sell directly... Not big money makers. Art... Or, no, not art. Um... Tree items. I guess you can get lucky and get like a decent one. Clothes, flowers. Carlene, hello, hello. All right, let's put all these here now. You don't get the top villager thing? So there's a website called Animal Crossing Portal that ranks all of the villagers based on fan voting. So whoever's in the top 10, you have to have at least two of those on your island. 
Uh, we're all collectively trying to vote Marlo to the top though. So if you're new to that website, go on there, vote Marlo. He's our rags to riches mascot. I think it'd be pretty funny to have a mobster hamster at the top while rags to riches is going on. Oh, another balloon that I can get to? No! That's gonna hit the water. Oh, that's an achievement. That's more Nook Miles. That's fine. Marlo is such a great top villager. I mean, come on. <laughs> he is our boss. Damn, I'm scaring away some bugs here. So I have to get, what, 5,000? I think so. Change design. We'll do an easy one. It's probably an easier way to do this. Beautiful. Looks like a fun challenge. Um, it looks, okay, it looks intimidating. I've heard that. But okay, for this one, once you pick your class, you only need one of those little squares to go back to and then the objective list. So like this whole page, you're gonna use what? Half of it, not even. 500 for that, okay. Almost there. If I have a top 10 villager and they ask to leave, I'm not letting them. I'm just letting you know right now. Okay. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Whatever, you, whatever helps you sleep at night. That is going to be tough if they keep changing. And you only get five tickets to, to villager hunt on. Well, listen, go for Marlo. That'll be your guaranteed one. If everyone votes for Marlo. I gotta, I gotta like spread the word. Can you guys help me spread the word? Edith, don't forget to like and share the stream. Edith, thank you, thank you. You're gonna get like Raymond and he's gonna ask to leave like the next day. Chalk, how's it going? I did get Agnes. I got Agnes and Cody. It could be worse. It could be way worse. No, don't waste your vote on truffles. Flesh eyelids. <clears throat> Top 10 villagers are on animalcrossingportal.com. Now I have to get rid of them. Hey, Pat, any rules about campsite villagers? Um, you have to you have to invite whatever campsite villager uh, you get. 
Unless... Plain cap, okay. I don't need hat items. Um, unless you're the forager. So forager, you can deny any campsite villager. My son bets he can beat you in Smash Bros. He asked me to tell you he's 11. <laughs> oh, you gotta love the youth, right? You gotta love how funny they are. Listen, I will... I will make you stop playing Nintendo games, okay? Challenge me to Smash Bros? Okay, wait, I have to ask one question. Do they play with or without items on? Because if they say without items on, I have no chance. There's two types of kids. He plays with items. Okay, I have a chance. <laughs> I have a chance. Oh, we got mail already? Oh, gifts. I can't wait to sell. And he means Sonic? <laughs> oh, this is going to be a walk in the park. Funny. <clears throat> Sid, how's it going? I decided on Fashionista, Sid, because I saw a need there. Look at the poll. 10% Fashionista. Fashionista. They're needed. They're needed. You gotta go to a Fashionista to get a crown, okay? I can't wait. I can't wait for the... Hey, is anyone Fashionista? I'm having a really hard time. Can't wait for those messages. That just means bells, you know? But yeah, you have to... So for the campsite thing, you have to have the, uh, the do-rag item on to deny the campsite villagers. Or, yeah. If your island exists. Ali. Hello. My name is Patrick from the channel Nintendo Talk. Um, just wanted to put this out here. I will 100% complete the rags to riches challenge. If I do not, I will get a truffles tattoo on my silky smooth body. I'm completing this challenge. I'm completing this challenge. I'm not, I'm not getting that. I'm not doing that. I will complete the challenge, okay? I'm, no, because last time people gave me, people gave me uh, a hard time about not decorating and doing the hard mode challenge. Uh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. What's the rush? What else Animal Crossing wise is going to pull me away from this? Nothing. Except Halloween, but nothing. Oh, let's get this. I'm not getting a truffle tattoo. There's no way. I just have to show you how serious I am. Neck tattoo. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I, I got to show you guys the dedication that's going on here. Right, let's start my bug pile. <laughs> Watch their dude if if it if they release another Animal Crossing game You're gonna see a tattoo vlog <laughs> Face tattoo or left bro If I got a truffles face tattoo Then I gotta, I have to go all in on this YouTube thing. <laughs> all right, we got 5K. Is 
Is that a, uh, is that a pig on your face? Moon Gamer, how's it going? All right, Thomas. Ready to pay. Already got the loan? We're killing it. Does anyone know off the, off the top of their head how much it is in total to... Fully upgrade your house. Isn't that like a, a mil? A couple mil? One point two for the whole thing. Five point nine six. Oh my god. That's fine. I love this challenge. Five million. And that's fine. Full full harv too. That's uh that's what? Five hundred thousand? Oh, I got to bring creatures to him. Inflation, am I right? Sarah, it's it's tough out here. I clipped that for proof and don't know where it went. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, we got to do Harv. Okay. Skimming through these rules. Let me point you to, oh my God. Ah! Let me point you to number, number five. Fully upgraded house and upgraded Harv's Island. Gotta do it. <laughs> Gotta do it. Um. Cool. I gotta get bugs and stuff, right? I wanna sell. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Buy my trash. Paradise planning photo. Switch. Don't need any of this. Garbage. Distractions. Uh, yeah, I can need this. Is that better? I don't know what goes in the top left. Almost 10,000 bells. What am I drinking? I am drinking gamer subs, of course. Peach iced tea. Code Nintendo Talk for 10% off. It's yummy. <laughs> Imagine. Um, is there a rule about moving villager homes? There's not. There's not. It costs what? 10K? I can make a rule for you if you want. Have to move a villager's house every day. <laughs> Dude, you'd never finish. Um, okay, let's bring one of these. I don't know what he needs. Oh geez, remember when it cost 50K? Bro, that's crazy. <clears throat> Sid, did you start yet? I've tried to watch as many day ones as possible. I found a creature. Here's a grasshopper. No treasure islands allowed. Not yet. Uh, okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Megan, welcome in with the Hooligan Plus membership. Welcome, welcome. I'm getting new emotes soon. Uh, I'm getting like um, Rags to Riches emotes. I'm getting a couple Finn emotes. So look forward to that. I'm gonna have another uh, member only video very soon. Thank you, thank you though. How many do we have to find? Five? More DIY recipes, love it. Most popular class so far? Our poll is saying farmer, but I feel like I've I've seen a lot more foragers. Seems like farmer forager is pretty close, then fugitive, then fashionista is probably the least popular one. They're all challenging though. I, I do think there's easier routes, but I think they're all pretty tough. They're all gonna be a grind. They all have their disadvantages too, like um, fugitive, you need double the double the amount of money at the end. Like, it's pretty it's pretty involved. <laughs> Holly, how's it going? Mostly picking farmer for the overalls. I love that. Do I have to donate more? Someone could get lucky with the with the turnip uh turnip market if if your island has a good good price, but <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, well, the third week it starts, but I think I'm going to buy the turnips and like immediately sell them the next day. I'm not going to bet on having a good price. I don't know. I might, I might check them, but... As long as I get something back, I guess. What's the highest turnip price you guys have ever had? I feel like my own island, the highest I've had is like 340, like that range. I've never re really been lucky with those. 630 that that would be really good <laughs> My entrance oh my god Yeah, mine had to be like mid 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 300s Highest I've ever seen, I think I, it was like close to 700 though. I, I did that early game. One of my friends was playing it and I went to their island. Six sixty is max. It was probably up there. to the next day. Mads, how's it going? Uh, I found a creature. Take it. Do it, man.
Hey, off to Riverside now. Thanks again for creating the new community challenge, Chuck. Thank you for participating. Can I pay a 500,000 bell fee to Amiibo and Sasha? Yeah, of course. But they won't count if they're in the top 10 list. That's kind of like an unwritten rule. You can use Amiibos, why not? But they won't count towards the popular villager. Oh yeah, collecting resources, huh? Okay. Okay, we got blathers. Um, we don't have a shovel yet. We get that later, right? So you can find out who the top villagers are if you go to Animal Crossing Portal. It's like a it's like a fan-made website. And they basically, like, you can go on there, vote for your favorite villagers. And depending on the votes, it kind of curates, like, a top list. If you are doing Rags to Riches, vote for Marlo, though. We want the little mob boss boy at the top. Okay, from Blathers. All right, cool. The villagers change, I think, every month. But, um... However you want to handle the, the villager situation, I just thought it would be a cool challenge to, to have that. Mm. Sure, let's have it here. Yeah, Phil's number two. Sterling is in the top ten? I just don't get it. The, the people that made Animal Crossing Portal, like, I don't know them. I'm not, like, affiliated with them. <laughs> They're probably like, why the hell is our website... Why is there so much traffic? <laughs> they are nice, though, because I... Back in the day, I did, like, a fundraiser for, um, like, animals or whatever. And, and part of it was, like, let's put Eric at the number one spot. And they did post about it, though, so that was nice. They are nice. Uh, okay. Should we go to the next day? Yeah, let's do it. My question is, why isn't Sherbet number one? I don't know. I don't know. Listen, all the streamers out here in the chat, let's put Marlo to number one, and then whoever else you want in the top ten, fine. Go for it. Uh, black, sure. Lupin, how's it going? Nelbo ranked at 176 is honestly a crime. Oh, wait, did I just get my Nook, Nook Plus thing? Okay, so we have to do these. Catch bugs, take a picture, plant flowers, catch a sea bass, earn bells by selling items. Easy. Let's buy some flower stuff and maybe another net. Let's do that. No, I don't want to buy another one. I want to buy flowers. Lilies? Interesting. I'm going to have to learn about breeding flowers and stuff. Let's 
Why Marlo? Because we need a rags to riches mascot, and like he's a he's a mob boss. My favorite villager is Eric. Eric is the boy. Honestly, I hope I don't get Eric. Because if he has to leave, I got to ask him to leave. But I like this time around, the starters can leave like whenever. You do lose that discount though. Lily's number 56. I think she could be a little little higher on the list but that's not bad it's out of four a little over 400 so forger for me i can't handle the campsite rule that's fair yeah i i, I kind of figured and that's a good that's a good selling point there's a lot of stinky campsite villagers i mean you have to take the first one you see like you have to but after that, you can be as picky as you want. I enjoy the chaos and no control. I like these things because, yeah, like anyone can pretty much move on. Take a photo. Uh, catch a sea bass. Should be able to do that. Your island options were awful. I feel like mine were good. I, I would have honestly picked any of those four that they gave me. It's not a sea bass, but I'll catch it. Red snapper, hopefully. Uh, I'm not crafting my tools because I'm being lazy right now. I gotta... I do have to make a DIY bench, though. Just finished the crafted houses. Got Nan, Nibbles, and Eric. Wow. You probably started yesterday, though, right? I'm kind of starting a little, little late. Late to the party. It's like I invited you guys all to the party, and then I was like, hey, I'll be back. I, I need to get... I actually need to run some errands. And I didn't come back till the next day. This is a sea bass. Nope. Just voted for Marlo. It says he only received 10 votes last month. I'm surprised 10 people even voted for him. I'm surprised 10 people were even voting for villagers in general. Well, those 10 people are going to be in for a surprise. This is a bass. I used all five of my votes on Marlo. What a champion. Can you vote daily? I think you can vote daily, right? Like once a day, you can cast five votes. I could be wrong, but you know how these titles you unlock? I want to say there's a fashionista one. Maybe there's a forager. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to look. Five votes per day. Wow. Wow. All right, sell items and catch five bucks. Okay, let's catch five bucks. <clears throat> so part of it is you can time travel one day at a time, but every day you time travel to, you still have to complete the daily tasks or the daily like two time goals. So Uh, Freddy Crossing and Friends of the Five. Real talk, what's your favorite candy cane flavor? Hashtag make Marlo great. Get that trending. 
P.S. I like uh, like the stream, nerds. Favorite candy cane flavor? I like... I was going to say Marlowe flavor, but that doesn't... I like good old peppermint. Good old peppermint. Can't beat it. I saw those Twinkie candy canes someone sent me. I haven't tried them yet. All right. What? Like two more bugs? No, we'll go to the next day. We'll get we'll get Daddy Blath here. Here we go. Okay, sell things for 5k. Do we have enough stuff? Well, no, I'm not going to sell... We don't have enough stuff because I don't want to sell um, fish or anything. I don't know if I already have, though. I've never voted on this site, but it says I have no votes left. They are sabotaging Marlowe. Unreal. The audacity. You get this straight. I can time travel if I wanted right now because my starter villagers. Yeah, it'll be free time travel. But if you have the two time goals, like these all need to be completed. The ones that say two times on them for you to do that. No fashionista title? Oh. Is there any of the other ones? Because that would be really cool. There has to be farmer. Oh, let me let me actually craft. They really can't decide on a class, so I guess it's coming down to a random number generator. I would really look at each one, and depending on, like, how you can make bells, that's what I would do. Like, that's that's how I would decide. Hardwood and iron nugget. Oh, but I need that. Tree branch and stone. Let's do that. I mean, you can sell anything. To the, to the deposit box, but. Also, what Critterpedia do you have to complete? That could be a big one. Carl's at 206 will never be number one. That's why we got to vote for him. He got 10 votes last month. Closest title is farming, okay. That's, that's close. Wait, did I? I've been selling all the rocks, haven't I? Oh my God. I shouldn't be selling rocks. Now I can't make an axe. We'll get one tomorrow. I gave four out of my five votes to Marlo. Thank you. Yeah, as long as you give most of them to Marlo, you know? I gotta still vote too, I haven't voted yet. So I think we have all of these bugs over in that pile. We definitely don't have the, the, 
Still not 5k. Try to get all the flower hybrids. I'm definitely going to focus on some hybrids this time. Because I never, like, I never do that. At least that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Truffles is at 406. That seems about right. That's out of... That's out of 413. So that seems about right. Alright, so this week... I'm going to be able to sell this because it didn't pop up with, like, it being a new fish. So I already have it placed down, so uh, that'll be fine. Leaning towards Forager. Okay. Squid... Yep, I already placed right there so I can sell it. Who's last on the tier list? If I was guessing, I would say... Maybe Hippo? Harry's last. That makes sense. Yeah, I can see that. Although, yeah, I can see that. Where, what, what's Hippo at? Hippo has to be in the bottom. Did I get this before? I did. I can sell it. There's a water bug over there. Can't reach it, though. Yes, I still am planning on doing the uh, the Halloween challenge. I don't know how I'm going to do it content-wise. Like, I don't know if I want to commit to 30 videos in October. But we'll see. Get shells too. I can always do one video a week. Yeah, but then it would be like a, a four video series. I don't know if that's enough. Have you completed all the Nook Mile activities? I have not. I think it's because I have three different switches that I play Animal Crossing on. So it's really tough to like focus in on one island. That's true. I could start it. I could start it super early. Doesn't really matter. All right, sell all this. We already have it on the beach to be donated. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, perfect. Cool, so all the two times are done. And we're gonna need all the Nook Mile tickets or Nook Miles we can get. Okay. Let's go to the next day. Let's go to the next day. I'm pretty much done. We should have, what, Blathers moving in. We are going to be getting our... Oh, yeah, I do have to turn this off. 
Gonna be getting our trash can that we ordered. It's nice to have that right away. Almost at 500 likes. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Three away. Come on. Thirty day series do bring in a ton of subs. That would be cool. I don't really have like series type stuff on my channel. That'd be nice to have at least one. Stock up on Nook Miles and buy tickets. Nook Miles, uh, the Shade Airport. I would be interested in getting Nook Miles, but, like, what am I realistically going to pay for Nook Miles on someone's island? You know? You, I don't think the markets are going to be as crazy as hard mode. I really don't. I don't think people are going to be willing to spend, like, anything. I could go to a market today. Wait a second. Does any uh, rags to riches player have a tuxedo jacket? I'll give you everything I own. Happy home academy. Okay, we got our garbage can item, beautiful. Wooden low table, we'll take that. All right, we got our garbage can and what's this? Apples, nice. Sister fruit. All right, let's put our garbage can right here. So if I need to pay any fees, it goes in there. You're in the Discord? Nice. We don't have to pay any fees yet. Let's go check the um, the shop. Tape deck in the front of resident services for stretching. Cool. I am doing Fashionista. I wanted to do a challenging playthrough, and I just feel like there's not enough people doing this class. Maybe I'll convince some people to join the light side i don't know join us actually you know what don't join i want to be one of the only ones because when it comes to to crown time i want to have a i want to monopolize the market you know Get the handheld fan, handheld fan item Now we're in debt, 98,000. I kind of wish there was a way for us to pay in miles for the loan. That'd be cool. <clears throat> okay. Nook mile ticket. Left your ticket at the counter in the airport. Okay, cool. So now we can go to one Nook Mile Island per day. Uh, fugitive can go to two, but I'm thinking we go and like cross fing cross our fingers for a money rock island. You know? Let me say it like that. Fashionista seems tempting. Say it. Tuxedo dress. Pretty cool. Uh redeem okay. I need the best thing in the game which isn't here yet oh no it is tool ring best thing in the game change my mind i expect the class clothing items to be really expensive these first couple weekends i think you're right and like these th so we're you could have a market right now. We are on the weekend. 
they're only going to be valuable for the first weekend or two. So I would, uh, if you got them, try to make as much as you can. I don't know how many bells people have right now, but... Basically control the economy with the crowns. All right. If all of us fashionistas sit in a room and say, hey, listen, let's set the let's set the price. Control a lot of things. Uh, what else we have? We have Nook Mile tickets we can buy. Um, pretty good tool recipe. I'm definitely going to need that. Pocket organization. Oh, is that more pocket space? Ooh, that's... Or hair. What's more important? Let's go. Let's go the tools. Let's go tools. You don't use the tool ring? Right, yeah, there's nothing in here. What do you have for sale? I love the tool ring. I should buy... I should just buy a bunch of stuff because that's how they upgrade, right? Thirty pieces of each wood, thirty iron nuggets. Oh my god! All right, I can't sell the rocks this time. Uh, what is for sale? Inflatable sofa and a barbecue. Oh, I can buy the flimsy axe. Can I buy? I don't think I could buy that. Yesterday, I don't think I had that choice. All right, we got two of those. Flimsy axe recipe. Flimsy watering can. Hey, I already have this. I am doing uh, fashionista. The fashionista class. I feel like it's one of the more challenging ones. Um, since you can villager hunt before you get your plots, can you use five tickets on the first day? T I mean, technically. Thank you for the five, by the way. Yeah, I mean, if you... Listen, if you can afford... If you can afford that... Yeah. Don't use... Oh, I gotta do this. But I don't have the shovel. I think Blathers gives it to me. Not Sheldon giving me a plain cap. I That would be so cool if one of your villagers gave you, like, one of the clothing items. I am. All right. So even though I don't have to worry about the fish critterpedia or the bug critterpedia, I still do have to donate stuff because I can't sell it to Flick or CJ if I haven't donated those uh, fish or whatever. Okay, vaulting pole. Nice. I sent DIY schematics for a shovel. Nice. Blathers is the MVP. 15 or more. I might have that already. <clears throat> Alright, we'll do that. Um, do that quest in a second. Right now I need hardwood mostly. And I need softwood for the uh, for the vaulting pole. It's 
And honest, I need everything because I, I need to do the uh, Nook's Cranny. I need 30 of each. The class uh, with diving, to collect all the diving, uh, is Forager, I believe. Oh, and we have to do all these two times. Oh my god, we got a lot to do. Hit rocks, we're about to do that. Plant more flowers. Shells. DIY projects and stretch. Okay. I kind of like the two time goals. Some of them do take a while, but it's kind of fun to have a little thing to do every day. Talk to my villagers, okay. Masha, how's it going? I'm not a big fan of Cody. Cool. Agnes is nice, though. I don't think I got anything else. <clears throat> Rose, hello, hello. Husband's name is Cody, so when you bash on the bear, it makes me giggle a little bit. Cody, you suck! <laughs> Alright, so I need to make a shovel. And vaulting pole, that'll be nice. That'll be our permanent. Those don't break, at least. Okay, have I made... No, I didn't make the um, DIY thing already. We need one iron nugget. Okay. I don't have a shovel to like do the little trick. But maybe. Can I like do it somehow? Would that work? It's, it's tough out here. That'll work. There we go. He's a genius. So you don't get all the hits because the axe is slower, but... Blathers just gave me the DIY, right? He didn't give me the shovel. I thought I gave you the shovel too. I think I'm confusing that. Aren't we flowers, shells? Sisterly gives you a shovel. All right, we, we'll hold off on it then. I haven't seen her actually today. Oh, I can buy a shovel too? That's clutch. We'll put, one, we'll put the uh, DIY thing here. My money tree? Yeah, I gotta get my shovel. Let's see if Agnes will be nice. Fuck me up. I don't know if she's inside. Nope. She's outside somewhere. Cody's chilling. Agnes! Oh wait, did she go here? No. Agnes! 
Seriously? There she is. That's right. Let's go. I love ya. Wait. What did she give me? A stone axe? Agnes. Agnes. That's not what I needed. Are there any rules on the Cap'n Island tours? Ah, uh, no, they're not. There aren't any rules. So I guess you could just go to your daily one. Can I? Yeah, I can make this. Cool. Do we need anything else? Oh, yeah, I can make the better ones, huh? Oh, I'm definitely doing a better... Yeah. Work. That's worth the trees. I don't really need to get rid of trees though. Oh, I need to make this. Cool. So I need that. Let me just drop some things. Uh, net I could possibly use. I want to go to the mystery island, see what we got here. Slingshot, I won't need on the mystery island, but... That, that, that. Oh, the apples? I should probably do that right now, because I'll forget. Do I have to reset if I accidentally broke one of the first rules? So you get, and the mods can explain this, you get a written warning. Um, three of those is gonna get you a detention. Three detentions is gonna get you a suspension. Um, two of those is gonna get you expelled, unfortunately. Okay, if it was the island name, then yeah, you have to reset. Like if you if you started your island name with like a P, then you, we gotta reset. Mr. Popular, that's kind of fitting. <laughs> that's fitting for the fashionista because I need thirty five people to come over and sign my board. Yeah, I'll keep that. All right, we'll drop that, we'll drop that. We'll drop, no, I don't wanna plant weeds. All right, we'll drop that. Oh wait, slingshot? Is that gonna disappear? Beautiful. Clay! You know what, early game, I'll take it. All right, I can leave this here for now. And let's go to the Nook Mile Island. How'd you hit that from so far away? So it's, I think it's up, up, down, right, X, A, B, X, A, B. Do that in the pause menu and you can uh, increase your range. <laughs> Was I far away? I want to fly. Uh, Nook Mile ticket. Let's go. Money Rock. Money Rock. That'd be a great start. Will I see a villager? 
I think I will see a villager. Money rock. Money rock. Or sister fruit. I don't know, 35 people to come and sign my board? I got you with that. In front of the DIY table and the balloon fell behind it. Weird. Doesn't look like Money Rock. Ooh, I can find my, uh... I can find my Money Rock, though. But I don't have the... I don't have the ladder, though. Okay, okay. Probably look for the. Yeah, I would not worry about the boards. So. Oh, let's go. Fashionistas rise up. Imperial partition. That sounds expensive. Zucker. I mean, there's no rule that I have to. I have to take them. First rock I hit, I got a gold nugget. So, gold nuggets in this in this mode. That's good that you're holding on to it. I would hold on to gold nuggets because you need to make you need to craft five uh, gold series DIY. He's on the top ten right now. Sucker! What's up, dude? My boy! No, I said my boy when I first came on the islands. Is he really on the top 10? Is he really on the top 10? Don't lie to me. What are gold series? So gold series DIY, uh, gold toilet is one of the items. Uh, he's 14. Okay, Rose, you're a liar. But I could invest in Zucker being on the top 10. Zucker is 14. Which isn't bad. Like that, that's pretty good. I, I might take him. Cause I think people like Zucker, so. I think he'll naturally be like a sort of to the towards the top of the list, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, uh, gold nuggets. You probably want to hold on to them. Even though it's tempting to sell them. Don't take them. Tempting. How do we feel about adopting villagers from other people's islands? I think like, I mean, that might create another economy right there. I say go for it. Oh wait, did I not pick up that rock? That my three plots were Tangy, Doc, and Dina. All right, the last two aren't winners, but Tangy? Tangy has to be pretty high, right? Tangy has to be pretty high on the list. Ooh, let's get the shells. Can I change the time or does that count as time traveling? Isn't that what time traveling is? Like when you're first starting off? Tangy's 30. See, like, do you get these villagers and invest in their potential stock? I don't have the ladder, though. It's kind of sad. I can't go up there. 
Ooh, coconuts. You're absolutely right. Yeah, let's get these. Oh, I didn't see a uh, I didn't see a DIY or anything. Could get mums. Those are my village. Uh, those are my town flowers, but. <clears throat> Can we sell our native fruit as farmers? Um, what does it say? Sixty crops and ten sister fruit trees. Oh yeah, you can. Okay. Well, if you have the overalls on. Can sell crops, fruit, bugs directly to Nook's Cranny. So yeah, if you have the uh if you have the overalls. It's so funny, we're all gonna be chasing after these random clothing items. Did my first island and got sherb. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's great. I think he's like just out of the top 10, someone said. Take a palm tree. Yeah, I can do that. I really wish I had a ladder. So yeah, this is where like the the fugitive class would be clutch because you can go to a second nook mile ticket island so that's like double the chance of a money rock you know their fugitive is looking pretty good bring a couple of these back zucker he's number 14 I feel like that's a pretty good. Will his stock rise? More people are going to be voting. Does anyone have their class like clothes yet? Oh my god, I'm full already. Um. Oh, you know what we should do? We should hit all these. Oh, I got. You know what? We'll just we'll leave the flowers here. I'd rather get. I'd rather get these the wood. You got the do rag already? No, my starters were Cody and Agnes. But I could get Zucker right now. I don't know. Zucker is four, ranked 14. I should probably get him. Oh, God. Oh, wait, no. This is a Nook Mile thing, though. It was in Nook Shopping. Was it actually, like, called Durag, though? Pockets are full. Swap it. I should have hit those palm trees before I dug them up. Give me that. Give me that. Doing the official do rag not terry cloth version seems too easy. You foragers.
that would have been kind of cool. Whatever clothing items you, f whatever cl uh, class clothing item you find is your class. So originally, you can all thank the mods for this. The original rule was going to be whatever class you pick had to be your island name. And mo th the mods were like, uh, Pat, that's dumb. <laughs> Pat, that's dumb. That's actually a dumb rule you have. So we came up with the uh, first letter system. Fashionista, I think, was going to be just fashion or something. Because, well, because I wanted to make a system where, like, you couldn't change your class. Because that's what I was afraid of. Because even if, even if it was only based on, like, the, the headwear, like, you could just easily take that off, you know? So I had to come up with something that was permanent. And I think that's a good, that's a good trade-off. I almost didn't. Oh, I'm gonna have to drop something. No, I don't. All right, we good? I'm gonna leave. No DIYs, I didn't see any. <laughs> welcome to Farmer. Hi, welcome to Fugitive. Can I take your bags? Uh, all right, let's go home. I could have just got some Could have just got some Nook Mile tools from him, but. All right, so we passed on Zucker. Honestly, I should have took him. That close to the top 10. Dude. <laughs> This res services is so freaking close. All right, how are we doing on all the, all these materials? Oh, I can get this. Uh, I'm just gonna bury 1K, that's fine. I have to have three top 10, yeah. Oh, we got 30 wood, nice. That's clutch. Fashionista has three top 10. I was thinking like, you know, Fashionista, like popular. Well, it didn't end up being popular, but that's why I did like more of the popular villagers and then the more uh, board write-ups. <clears throat> okay. So I need some materials. We need 30 of each. The, uh, oh, I need to do my, I need to do the rocks. That's what I want to do. There's one of my rocks. They're probably like elsewhere on the island though. Give us that money rock. Okay, I'll take materials. All my island names have been food. So what's your new one? Cause you're fashionista, right? Do I have 30? Oh no. Sourdough. I like that. That's cute. You know, I should just keep these. So I can just keep track. Oh, I hate these pockets. Um, The shells we can sell. 10, 10 shells. Oh, my palm trees. That's right. 
these freaking pockets, man. Ooh, a DIY. Full length mirror, okay. I have everything prepared when I start playing the challenge. Uh, island name and class. Uh, what? Lay it on me. What is it? What's it gonna be? So shells, yeah, are forgeables. Yep. Oh, and we have to do that. Oh my god, I need the wetsuit. Can I plant it this close? Probably bad for fishing, but... Allison, how's it going? Fashionista, my island name will be Shimmer. That's a very fashionista name. I like it. Welcome to Shimmer. All right, Agnes is just chilling. Do I have any rocks over here? I do, I do, I do, I do. One of the Barbie movie. I'm hearing some mixed things on the, on the Barbie movie. It's great. Okay. Yeah, Carlina and I are going to see it. I just don't know when. Cool, we did that. Um, <clears throat> forgot that was like a task or whatever. Going tonight to see it with my daughter. That's exciting. I also think that people should keep in mind, like, this is a movie about a fictional doll, okay? I like crazy, weird movies like this. Like, we need more of these lighthearted weirdo movies. Uh... Yeah, let's sell all this. There's a message underneath. Uh, yeah, we could sell those. We could sell that. Sell the weeds. You cried? You cried in the Barbie movie. It's a good cry? It's... I didn't think it was like that. I thought it was like stupid. Does it matter what month? No, you could start any month. Any month at all. I just started with uh, whatever time it was now. Like, I'm going to be time traveling anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But I just synced it up to what it is now. I heard a lot of people say they cried. Weird. I thought it was just like a lighthearted kind of thing. All right, still don't have my money rock. Low key, I wanna make a rock garden on this island. I've never done that before. I feel like that's a flex. I thought that was a new one. What did I pick? I picked Fashionista. Exclamation class.
Where's my freaking money rock? Probably like up, up higher. <laughs> Farmer's hat on day one and a do rag on day two. Oh my God. By the way, if you guys aren't in the discord. Good go. Why? Why are you still not in there? I don't get it. I just don't get it. You said you were going to. Mm -hmm. Playing all these. Why not? <clears throat> all the rules are in there. We have the FAQ in there. We got a fossil here. I don't think I could ever do like the no uh, terraforming thing. Oh, crap. Mm. Oh, whatever. I'll come back for it. Woke up from a pat nap? Are you serious? This is riveting content. How do you possibly fall asleep to this? I, I, I feel you on that actually. The, the music, it's the music. It's the beginning music. All right, let's go back. You're not terraforming? The reason why I could never do a no terraforming is because I wish the terraforming is more random. It's always like flat in the front and then like mountain in the back. And I wish they kind of changed it up a little bit. Maybe I'll keep like the rivers the same. I don't know. Just started the challenge. Nice. Cast your vote in the poll that's on the, that's in the live chat. I want to know what roll you picked. Oh my god, I need my need my slingshot. Make me want to play AC. Mission accomplished. Do it. All right, let's go bring the fossils here. We also have to bring the creatures here and do Gulliver. We have a lot to do. It's the music and the yelling. <laughs> like opposite a ASMR. Uh, I do have some stuff you could take. Please take... Oh, I have to do one at a time. See, he learned his lesson from hard mode. That's so funny. I literally started with the same villagers. Hard mode, I started with Agnes and Cody, and I was like, eh, I don't really like Cody. And then I went, and that, that all happened. Fourteen donations, okay. Oh wait, I gotta assess them first. Oops. Oh, 
Assess these. Bam, bam, bam. Laura and I picked Fashionista. All right, make a donation. One at a time. T-Rex torso. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I got something. I feel like I got so lucky with starters. I got Shari and Scoot, and I'm definitely keeping them for a long time. Until they ask to leave. Until they ask to leave. There's no saving your villagers this time. Hard mode, you kind of had the, uh, the safety net of the photos. For better or worse. Wait, what? I already have a double? What? That's wild. <laughs> I got what? Three or four fossils and I already have a double? All right. I mean, I can sell that. That's actually great. Pat, pick one of the four selections and I will do it. Um, You are going to be... I'm like the sorting hat. I sense a strong... Fugitive. Be a fugitive. You'll thank me later. Okay, I can sell all of these. Sorting Pat! Uh, okay, I need... Uh, I need more wood. Let me, let me sell all this stuff, though. God, I gotta get the pockets. I gotta get the pockets. Gryffindor. Okay. Good, right? Sell all those. Sticks? I might need. You do have to reset your island, yeah. Yep. Resetting your island, like, that's the only way for it to be, like, truly fair, you know? Like, that's the best way to ensure everyone is just on an even playing field. <clears throat> All right, I need flowers. I need flowers. How's this game three years old already? I know. Like, I'm half and half about it. I, I do think, like, wow, it's, it's already been three years, but, like, I don't know. I can kind of get it, though. Like, 2020 seems like a lifetime ago. All right, let's plant these. Uh, okay. Cool. I still need more wood. I got the... I got the regular wood down. We're almost to the soft wood. We got this. We got this. The tough thing is going to be iron, but we should be able to time travel to tomorrow. Am I signing my board? Uh, just rags to riches, whatever you want to do. I think I put on the thing like ACNH rags to riches. 
As long as we know. We being everyone that comes to your island and checks, but... Doing well as a farmer, but I haven't got my money maker yet. Crops. I think if I was plan, if I did the farmer class, I would start on October first. Well, maybe like the end of September, because October hits and you get pumpkins in your nooks, right? Or no, is that only with the upgraded nooks? Well, then I'm trying to unlock leaf then. Iron is 50% spawn on Nook Mile Ticket Islands. Ooh. That's good to know. So I just have to do the stretching and then we can go to the next day. Um, I think I only need... Oh no, I think I could get the pockets now. I'm going to do that. I'm definitely going to do the pockets. I think that was 5k or 4k. I think it was 4k actually. Give me those pockets. This is terrible. Okay. More. Tear eyed crybaby. Uh, redeem Nook Miles. Do you have to drop bells on the ground or a donation box? So, to pay all of your fees, you have to put them in a trash can item. If you don't have a trash can, you can just drop them somewhere, and then whenever you do get a trash can, you can do that. It is 5k. Pat, pick a class for me. I'm trying to have fun and have a good challenge. Carter, Carter, what do I see? What do I see? You want a challenge. I'm getting fashionista vibes for Carter. Carter, join me. Together we can rule the fashion worlds. I thought I'd never say that in my life, but. Ooh, look at those pockets. I uh, can't afford really anything else. Just caught the golden stag. Oh my God. Too bad you got to donate it. Pat, you made my friend cry because I'm going to delete all my 400 plus hours on Animal Crossing. Um, I wish I was sorry. But listen, <laughs> every other streamer in existence would be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I wish I, I wish I was sorry, but listen, it's rags to riches. Sorry. I know I'm not sorry. <laughs> Bewick would not. You would not. You would just go on to the next comment. Well, they should be crying tears of joy because of your newfound love for Animal Crossing. Why are they crying? This will make me a better ACNH player. I uh, I agree. You're going to learn things about yourself and the game that you never knew. I'm going to complete this challenge. This island right here. 
is going to be my 100% island. I've never 100%ed any Animal Crossing game ever. And I think that'd be a fun stream series. Once we're done with this challenge, then we could like have random like streams collecting everything. I like that. All right, where are we at? Okay, softwood we're good on. I think we're good on everything except, except iron nuggets. Except iron nuggets. I think we're gonna have to go to the next day. So let's stretch. How long is this challenge for roughly? I guess it matters on like, I guess it matters on how long the uh, the end game objectives takes. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. So like completing one of the Critterpedias, getting a five star island, getting gold tools, fully upgraded house in Harv's Island. I don't know, what are you guys thinking? Uh, Timmy vs. Tommy, another Animal Crossing channel, is going to speedrun Rags to Riches. And I think he said he's going to be Farmer? I don't know what class I would choose to, uh, to speedrun. I don't time travel very much, so at least eight-ish months. I had a really cool name picked out for a fugitive island. I was gonna name my island Greed. Short, simple. Has to start with a G, but I'll never get to do that now. I'll have to hold the world record speedrun for Fugitive since I'm the only one out here. I, if anyone else asks me, I will, I play someone in the Fugitive. Two people asked me already to pick a class for them. She got at least one more Fugitive. But we're going to need each other. We're going to need each other, Bewick. You get some art for me, and uh, maybe I got a crown with your name on it. Okay. Oh, I didn't open this. Okay, let's go to the next day, I believe. Yeah, if, if anyone wants to give me art, real art, then go for it. I would love that. Time travel's free. We have our starting villagers still. That's nice. I should have took Zucker. I'm having regrets about not taking Zucker. Cause like how many, how much money do I actually want to spend on these Nook Mile tickets? I'm fugitive gonna do a Monopoly themed island naming it go to jail. Wait, that's super creative. I love that. Oh my God. I'm assuming you're gonna like make an actual board too. I think I would have just named it Go.
Shell Wreath DIY. <clears throat> All right. On to day three. Okay. So we have our apple trees growing. Um, I think... Let's see our two-time goals. Tend to the flowers, sell fruit, redeem nook miles, catch a puffer fish, and hit rocks. I don't like the specific fish ones. No money rocks, though. Miss Tom's announcements. Yeah, I kind of wish that you could, like, customize your game a little bit more. Oh, and we need iron nuggets. I almost forgot. Like, if you could choose who does them. That'd be so cute. You could, like, choose a villager, too. Uh, okay, tend to flowers, sell fruit. I think we have a bunch of fruit in our inventory anyway. Thinking of doing rest to riches, but then adding all the hard mode rules that rags to riches doesn't have to make it harder? Uh, I think it's pretty difficult. I think it's pretty difficult already. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I went to a Nook Mile Island and Zucker was there. I should have... Zucker's ranked like 14. I should have took him. That was a mistake. But I did upgrade my pockets already. I got the tool ring. Where are we at? 1,200. We should be able to get another Nook Mile. So that's not bad. Cody would give me iron too. Yeah, is he sitting again? Oh. Give me iron. Oh, I love you. Zucker is mid. Oh, we got 30. And I think we have enough stone. No, maybe not. Well, it doesn't matter what I think. It's what the people think with their votes. Zucker, Zucker's a fan favorite. Show off the photo of Finn I just texted you. Okay, give me a second. Not even you in the challenge, just got a tuxedo. Oh my God. He's so cute. <laughs> Look how cute he is. He's a little innocent boy. He's a little happy boy. <laughs> what a baby. I saw him. I got to see him yesterday. What a little baby. Your baby? How's Moose going with Finn? So I haven't, Finn hasn't really been here because he, he's been a little sick. Um, so he's been like, Carlene's been taking care of him at her, uh, her parents' house. But he came over yesterday and Moose hissed at him. Moose finally was like, okay, I've had enough. But it makes sense. Moose is a gangster, you know? Grew up on the streets, literally. It's his territory. 
He does have two different color eyes. All right, cool. I think we have everything for the shop. He like slowly, he like slowly walks by Finn. Doesn't take any chances. All right, I gotta double check if I have everything. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I forgot the regular wood outside. But honestly, like, Finn is the aggressive one. Oh, wait, do I have to talk? Uh, no, I'm good. He's a little puppy. He just wants to play, but Moose? No. Found this Amish place near me that sells kittens. <laughs> Name it Finn. That'd be actually amazing. Uh, yeah, these are for you. Are there Amish people in California? That's a serious question. Please take a throwback gothic mirror, a magazine, and a fortune-telling set. Why did he give me that stuff? So all of the materials we need can start construction on the shop. <clears throat> okay. Place the shop. Is Moose jealous? Um. I don't think he's, he's jealous. He's just kind of like, what are you doing in my house? You know. This is a decent place. All right. Be honest with me. Are you, are you going to try to make your island look nice? Or is this just like a, you're a machine. You're just a money-making machine. Eyes on the goals. That's it. Are you actually going to try to make your island look nice? I'm kind of undecided, honestly. I don't know if I want to go for function or like, like the look of it, you know? Like, I, I don't, I'm not going to make it a dump, but. Designing later game. Okay. Needs to be DA worthy. All right, cool. We did that. Uh, anything in here? No. I'll decorate a little bit. And we got to sell, we got to sell some food. Not gonna sell any materials yet. It's the end of Timmy and Tommy's or Tommy's freedom. Yep, now they're never gonna be able to take a break ever again. Oh, I need to get one more. Chop wood. I have to spend nook miles. I don't like that. Chop wood. Oh, maybe I can have enough. We'll see. Water flowers and catch the puffer fish, I think. What if we don't have 99k when we see red? I would say... You should. You should be able to have that much, though, right? You don't see red for a while. Or maybe you do see him early. I don't know. When do you see red? You have to restart. I feel like you could grind out 99k. Or, yeah, deposit what you have. Kyle, how's it going, by the way? 
Whatever you have, I guess, just drop it. Oh, August every weekend. It's true. Around day four or five. Okay, spend Nook Miles, Puffer Fish. Do I not have a fishing rod? I don't think I do. People are starting current time as a fugitive. They're messing up big time. Dude, that, oh my God, that would be rough. You got four, 400,000 bells just in fees in August alone. So I can just redeem my Nook Miles for like any, oh, I need the, I'm gonna need this. They don't sell the wetsuit yet, right? Gotta be the game before August. In the shop? Do they really? I'll just order it. I'm just gonna order it. Or should I get something like super cheap? You see the cake I sent you? I'm like so hungry right now. Ooh, that looks good. Was that, is that lemon curd? Is that lemon curd and blueberries? That looks like it. Lemon blueberry cake. God, that looks so good. Can I show the photo of Finn again? Sounds like I'm saying Finn again with an accent. Yeah, I'll show you Finn again. That's my little baby. He's what, 10 weeks old? Hi, there's my son Finnegan. 800, I don't like that. Can't go to can't go to a mystery island. But I can't get that puffer fish. Let's talk about puffer fish. Uh, medium shadow? I already caught one. Ugh, I didn't get a... I didn't do a fishing rod again. Tree branch, and then... Yeah, we'll, we'll do an upgraded one. Sundays in August actually cost 150. Oh my god. Oh yeah, cuz the Dude, so 200k. If you picked fugitive and you started around now, that's 600k that you're going to have to pay. Fashionista is harder. Dude. Fashionista is no joke. Oh boy, I can sell clothes. I'm gonna get rich off clothes to the Nook Mild, to the Nooks. Oh, and flowers. Watch out. He's on a roll. Alright, puffer fish. You should have set it to early June. That's solid. You should have enough money by then. You can get a grand piano out of 
So, I, so my class is great because I have a small chance of getting a grand piano out of a tree. I should be shaking trees, actually. Free time travel? I mean, everyone can when they first start. No, no, uh, no fees, by the way? No fees to, uh, go on someone's island? That's gonna add up. <clears throat> Hoping for truffles to autofill? Why? No! I should have made an upgraded net. I should have put something with balloon items in the rules. I mean, technically, if you uh, turn your switch on and it's Sunday in your game and it just happens to be, you can, okay, you can technically, I don't, I don't know if I should be saying this. Pat, should you be fueling them with loopholes? I don't know if I should. I don't know if I want to disclose this information. Okay, I have to do this. I think I skipped this yesterday. But I don't have my... I don't have my uh, diving suit. So, okay. Fugitives. And like everyone else, if you're listening. Well, no, you should be able to have to buy turnips. No, I'm not even saying this. Oh, a shovel for him. I'm thinking of Gullivar. Okay, I can do that. Thank you. I'm a fugitive. I play by my own. What did, what did I? What have I done? What have I done? I didn't confuse them, like, visually. I confused their quests. Found a few loopholes that I won't disclose here. How dare you. I swear I'm crying. My three villagers are Truffles, Prince, and Bettina. I don't even know who the last one is. Who is that? Is that a mouse? That's pretty... That's bad. Chris, welcome in with the Hooligan Plus membership. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for uh, supporting the channel. I'll look for him. Carleen, I would love if you played AC again. Alright, let's get the five parts. Because then, Gulliver has some, like, pretty pricey items that we could sell. No, I don't want to leave. Again, I think the end game objectives really appeals to me this time. I don't know how I didn't have end game objectives for the last one. It's All right, what do we get? 2 so far. Yeah, I agree. 
Because then you're like always working towards something. There's always something in the back of your mind like, I have to do this. You might even make decisions based on those endgame objectives. Hard mode, I guess, was like proof of concept. Does the AC community want challenges? Yes? Okay. I got you. I like the class system too. 32 months? Oh my god, Lee! That's amazing. What, four months? Four more months and then you, uh... Your pumpkin lights up? Emily with the gifted memberships and... With the five gifted memberships, Carlene got one of those. Catherine, Abby, Amber, and Ella. Thank you so much. Hard mode was beta. I really appreciate that. Class system's really good. Yeah, some of the... Ooh, we got a DIY. Some of the other classes... See, I, I still have my notes app of this whole thing. <clears throat> so originally it was just going to be the three classes minus uh, fugitive. So it was only going to be like farmer, forager, and fashionista. But I have a note on here. It was like fourth class with a question mark. I had fugitive and in quotes it said break, ability to break rules pretty much. I also had florist. Flowers, bushes, hybrids. That's what I put. I don't know. And then I had foodie. So that was going to be like the chef class, like making food. Those were like the other ideas that were floating around. But yes, I wanted them to all have the same letter. Class DLC. Dude, a DLC would actually be dope, but it would be like, you'd have to restart again. If I added a new role, you couldn't just like switch to it. Foodie would have been cute. And then originally, originally the fashionista could I think I said this already, but the fashionista was the only one that could wear clothes bought from Abel, like cloth clothing items in the game. Everyone else would have to do custom designs. What else did I put? Da, 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 da. Farmer always had the don't have to buy turnip thing. Originally, Forager was going to have to buy double the turnips. That was the original. I think they're going to be closer to him, right? I think if I did do another challenge, though, I would keep the class thing. I really like that. So who knows? Where are you? Can't believe you kept Cody. It was more about Cody. It was the orange airport. It was the close res services. He's not my favorite. He did give me iron, though. So I like him, like, a tiny bit better. Did I miss one? All right, here. You can make this list of Final Fantasy MMO and release more classes as it goes on and new people can catch on. Ooh. 
Someone brought up the idea that you could literally have like, like D and D style classes. Cause there's like a mage. There's like a, there's like robes in this game. And there's like helmets and like armor in this game. That'd be really cool. But I don't know what you would do for like the perks and stuff. Wow, an AC collab. All right, here's your parts. With Fugitive, can you use Treasure Islands? I'm not, as that would make it too easy. No, you can't use Treasure Islands. ACRP. Hello, my lords. I'm the great mage of Elderon. It's a privilege to meet you, King Bewick. For three hours. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta, I gotta sell some shells. Pile of cardboard boxes. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty bad. Kata, that would have been a nightmare. I'm glad, I think it was you actually. Yeah, hey, what? Yeah, you can thank my mods and Kato because I'm pretty sure Kato came up with the idea of changing it to letters. I didn't know any other way to, to do it. I was thinking like, oh, you could put it in your, as your passport, but like people can change, people can change their passport. So like that wouldn't have worked. Let's sell all this. Um, oh wait, no, I can't sell the wharf roach. And I can't sell the wasp. Okay, did I check what they're selling today? Oil barrel and a cooler box. Okay, I don't want either of them. I wasn't even thinking about what it what it could spell out. I just feel like those letters are kind of like I don't know. It made sense in my head. Outdoor hat, bandage. Slip on loafers. Do I want any of this stuff? I don't think so. That would have been cool if it if it spelled out rags. See, that's that's way too clever. You, yeah, I would never have come up with that idea. Why doesn't it spell a rag? Oops. Okay. Um, I need to donate. I have some fossils here and we have these creatures that we could do. Kiki with a five. I know HHP is restricted for economy, but what are... But are we allowed to use it to unlock designs like home customization and just not bring back slash sell the items? You could do that. If you wanted to just unlock that, you could totally do that. The reason why I didn't include HHP is because it's paid content. And like, I'm assuming most of us have it, but let's just say, for example, someone couldn't get it for whatever reason. I don't want to like 
exclude anyone. You just gotta make sure you don't bring back stuff, you know? Yeah, and HHP, that's true. HHP, like, broke the economy last time because everyone was just, like, speedrunning it to get the, you know, most wanted items, you know? So then they were bringing those to the market, and then obviously people wanted them. So I just said no HHP, but if you wanted, if you wanted to use it just for home customization, go for it. But like, but you have so many advantages because like you can get the DIY that washes up on the beach. There's like moss and vines there that you can get. As long as you don't abuse it, then you should be good. Yeah, you can get moss and vines through capping. Yeah, there, so there are ways to get it. Oh my god, I don't want to know about this freaking bone. <clears throat> Getting every KK song? That would have been cool to add in to one of the end, end goals. I haven't done an overgrown forest before, so that's cool. What's that meme? You sure about that? Are you sure about that? Uh, no, I don't want to know anything. I can't wait till Bewick finds out there's other cores to do. God, it's gonna be a great day. No, I don't want to know. Six donations left, and we have all this, so we can sell it. There are no money tree rules this time. Oh my god, I totally should have made a rule where, like, you have to... If you want a money tree, you have to bury 100k. Oh my god. Alright, so all this we could sell. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pat, I need an island name with G, please. Take the name I would... Name your island Greed. That's what I was originally going to do. Until I saw a demand for Fashionista. Greed is a dope name. Guilty, I like that too. Blue Wolf, how's it going? Gaslight? Whoa. Oh my god. Gluttony? Oh, I need something more cottage core, like Greece or something like that. Is Greece cottage core? Uh, ginger, ginger snap. <laughs> That's a very cottage. Hey, welcome to Ginger Snap. 
Ginger snap's kind of dope, honestly. Gyroid Island. Ghost. That's cool. That's a dope name. All right. I can't wait to visit Ginger Snap. I like how I'm making fun of Cottage Core and people are like, ah, I love that. But yeah. Gullible. All right, is that it? We have the museum. Why do you think everyone is farmer or forager? I honestly thought there wasn't going to be a lot of farmers because it's similar to hard mode. So I was like, yeah, no one's going to pick this. I hope they do, but. All right, so these are all good. We can sell these. Might just do that right now. The camp, the denying campsite villagers, that's a big perk. this um i don't have enough nook miles to go to a nook mile ticket island today Let's sell all that nothing pam how's it going guys take advantage of the early game take advantage of this little this little nookling sell him all your stuff my island map yeah let's take a look at it so, yeah, uh, pretty close res services, which I like. People just gotta sign my board and get off, you know? Pretty cute. And then we have that coming over. I think I need to get the puffer fish still. When is that? That should be up until. S Does that mean? Oh, it's active all day in July. Spent three days in game shaking trees and hitting money rocks and popping balloons. That's the grind. go so yeah i think i'm gonna i was debating doing like videos for this or streams i think i'm gonna primarily do streams because also a lot of people have questions about the rules and i feel like it's it's just a better way to like explain it and stuff all, right, all these we can sell all these aren't new. I'm looking for that puffer fish. Yeah, videos just would be a terrible idea. <laughs> no, I'm so happy that. Uh... Well, are you doing straight up videos? You'll stream. You'll stream it. Don't make one video and bounce, though. That's the beauty of a series. It builds. Kay's doing a video series. Let's 
stream some? Okay, good. I, did, I mean, you could go back and, and look at streams, I guess, but I like the idea of videos too. Like, I, I definitely was debating it. <clears throat> but I already, like, made a video for it, I guess. That was, like, introducing it, but... Ooh, we can sell this guy now. Love this new AC challenge you guys made. Oh my god. What class did you pick? Or are you even doing it? Puffer fish. Easy. Complaining about a red snapper. Let's go. Oh my god. How did I get so many nook miles? I could go to another island today, actually. How big are puffer fish? Oh, small. Okay. I should have been getting these then. Come on, dude. Stream the challenge. Got to wait for a few days to get my setup. Going to be my first stream series. Ooh. Good old special wiener live stream series. Love it. Here it is. Puffer fish. Damn it. Plenty of shells here. Come on, dude. Where's this puffer fish at? I already did catch one, but it it wasn't uh I didn't have that challenge yet. This is it. You're just calling anyone now that I thought that was our thing. I might order something. Oh my God. What are you ordering? What are you ordering? Ordering food sounds great right now. What'd you guys have for dinner? You know what I hate? Freaking Uber Eats throughout the day <laughs> will send me notifications. Like, hey, Pat. Grab these saucy wings. It's like, I don't want to hear that. You know, it'd be good for your Friday afternoon, a grilled burger. Like, no, stop. All right, I'll order it. It's only 3 p.m. It's 6 where I am. Just had breakfast. Oh my god. 
10.55 p.m. in Scotland. I'm gonna go to Scotland. When we went to Finland, I was so messed up. Let's go. Because, like, people would be streaming and it would be, like, It'd be like 7 a.m. Or, or it'd be like weird times and people were streaming. Like I wasn't messed up like, like in that way. Just like seeing, like going on Twitter and stuff. Like when people posted, you know. All right, so we got that. So all two times are done. I think I am going to go to the Nook. I'm going to get a ticket. Let's just go. I knew how Allie felt. Take advantage of the early market. The early nooks. When I was in Italy, it was awful trying to call Josh because it'd be like 2 a.m. for me and 5 p.m. For oh my god. It's rough. I have 50k by the way. Thank you. Thank you. No. Keep it down. Thank you though. I didn't buy a ticket. Damn it. I missed it. What class am I? I picked the fashionista class. I wanted a challenge. I was either going to go fashionista or fugitive. I wanted a challenge. I never, never did the art before. I've actually never completed the, well, that's a lie. I, I think I completed art on one of my islands because I like got it from a treasure island. But like never legit, you know? That one time I went to a treasure island. Remember that video I released? So surprised you didn't pick farmer. I think farmer is a cool class. But it's too similar to hard mode. Can non-fashionistas buy crowns from Abel's? Uh, only island that can sell crowns. So you can buy a crown, but it has to be on a fashionista island, or you can buy a crown from a fashionista on their island. Wait. Only island that can sell crowns. Okay, so you have to buy it on a fashionista island. Yeah. Even if you're buying it from a fashionista, you have to buy it on their island. And only on weekends. That Yeah. Only on weekends. Okay, I want to fly. Weather well, app's claiming feels like 127. <laughs> what? It is 80 here, and it feels like 81. When you get the crown, you need to host for thousands of people. I think, oh, is this my sister fruit, peaches? It has to be, right? Oh, we're stocking up. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. What is she ranked? I don't even care what she's ranked.
I don't even care what what is she ranked? Wally's 15. I'm investing. I'm investing. Oh, and there's Cosmos here? Let's go. Oh, I'm so glad I waited. Zucker is ranked higher, which I guess makes sense. Watch her be the first to leave. I know. Lolly's great. Lolly's so cute. Dude, I freaking love Lolly. Damn. Let me just let me just secure this now. Move to my island. So she'll be my she'll be my normal. Bon bon. Of course I meant it. So she'll be my normal. That's great. Should I take Shino? I think so. Shino is... Shino has to be in the top 10, right? I think she's pretty popular. I don't have a shovel. Lolly is 15th in popularity. I feel like a lot, like, I feel like that website isn't really used, like, as much as it was before. Like, I remember back in the day, back in my day, everyone was on that. People used to make videos on, like, rank, like, what villagers are ranked what. But we're all voting Marlo, number one. We need uh we need the mob boss up there. I didn't break any rules, what are you talking about? So if you actually play, if you play legit and you have to, you have to ask your, like when villagers ask to leave, you have to let them go. Having multiple top 10 villagers is going to be a very big challenge. You can kind of do whatever you want with that. If you want to be like, if you want to say like, oh, Raymond is living on my island. So that's one. Like, I don't know if you want to do it that way. I don't know. We'll, we'll get there. I ignored Gulliver. I think Gulliver stays until you do his quest. So technically, he's the same Gulliver. Especially with a five ticket hunt. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, if a villager asks me to leave, I'm letting him go. For sure. All right, I think that's everything here. I don't have a DIY here. Got Lolly though. That's clutch. I mean, I guess we could get some of these materials until this breaks. So the ranking, one of the end, end game goals is to have top 10 villagers on your island, like at least two. And it's a, a website called Animal Crossing Portal. They do like a fan 
poll. You can, like, vote on villagers. Fully intent on recording you. And I going through the checklist and I'm finished. Okay. Lolly? Agnes and Cody. It could be worse. All right, that's cool. What is that? A hundred... I think it's a hundred broken axes to get the golden axe. I don't have a net either. A hundred axes. Yeah, I'm... So how many, um... Have at least three gold tools. Okay. What are the easiest tools to get? I'm thinking if I had to get a, a, a obtainable three, I'm going watering can. Because, like, you have to get a five-star island anyway. Yeah, I talked to Lolly. Watering can, slingshot... You have to do, what, 100 balloons? And then the axe, probably. Oh, the furniture item! Explain objective 9. Uh, craft 5 golden series DIY. So there's a whole golden set. Um... The golden set includes, like, the golden toilet, and there's, like, a golden armor set. It's, like, a whole gold series set. So you have to craft at least five of those. Yeah. The gold tools, I guess, would be a part of that? I don't know. That's kind of up to you. But yeah, there's a whole gold set. Like golden, there's like a golden seat or something. I don't know. The, oh, the, the King Tut mask is a part of that, right? Yeah. But there's a, there's a bunch. There's not like a limited amount. There's, there's quite a few. Golden art. There's like a golden plate set. Oh, I think my item is up there. Oh yeah, sister fruit. Yeah, so it's not gonna have the, uh, it's not gonna have the item, right? The gears. That's right. So yeah, all the golden nuggets that you find, I would keep, personally. All right, successful. But you can only craft those things on a forager island. So those end game DIYs that you need to make, you have to make on a forager island. I hope some people chose forager. I don't know if a lot of people are choosing forager or not. Alexis of the Hooligan Plus, welcome in. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in. Enjoy all your emotes. Enjoy all of your emotes. There's even an emote I would use if I found a golden nugget right now. All right, I want to sell most of these. Yeah, I'm going to keep the eight stack. 20,000, thank you. That's why I want to play as a forager on my other switch instead of a fugitive like you suggested. Okay.
I should have broke those up. Like, you can only craft the golden ones on, like, a forager's island. But maybe the money DIYs, you can only craft on, like, a fugitive island or something. I don't know. Should have gave fugitive a little more power. I mean, no. They're fine. They're fine. Should have gave, like, farmer. No, farmer can... Eh, they're all equal. I think they're all pretty equal. They all have great benefits. I mean, the farmer not buying turnips, that's huge. You're saving 200k a month. Oops. Margarita, how's it going? As long as you can find overalls. That's true, because isn't that one of the red? Not have to buy turnips. The far... You farmers out there, you better find your overalls. Because then you would have to buy... Uh, you would have to buy turnips. For fugitive. I was thinking of like like a, a cheating sort of breaking the rules thing for fugitives, but I didn't want to have like, you could steal an item from someone or, you know, that would have been, people would have been upset about that, I think. But you're like breaking the rules though, cause you don't have to pay for time traveling. Can always steal it as long as they didn't know. That would be awful. Can you imagine if that was actually like a, a mechanic in this game? You have to watch your stuff around fugitives. Pat said I could steal from an island. Okay. So, got the heart door plate. I need to start talking to my villagers. I know that's that's a weird change for me, but. <laughs> Can I visit? <laughs> I want to steal something. Isn't that an achievement? No. I thought it was. Oh, there's my net. Um, I could go to the next day. Oh, look, a leaf bug. Super common. could get that but I don't need to care about bugs that's the beautiful thing about this class oh there's gonna be there's gonna be uh, shenanigans on this island markets essentially have no rules there's I think you can't sell fossils and you can't sell turnips and you can have a max number of people but there's like no rules with markets this time. I already have an idea. I just need the, I need the red and black color wheel.
Okay. Market days are going to be cool. I, I think the market is going to be a little, like, more realistic this time. Are you really going to want to spend bells? Like, what are you buying? When are my markets going to start? Um, I'll try. I mean, I'm going to, so I'm going to stream tomorrow again. I'm going to stream this again. Uh, I don't know if I have anything of value yet. Maybe I can sell like the different fruits that I have. But like, I don't have ables or anything. The only thing I'm confused on is how much time travel you can actually do. Do you have to go day by day? Yeah, you have to go day by day. So basically the only thing like preventing you from going months in advance is you have to do all the daily. You have to do all the two times. But you can time travel like a bunch. You just got to do the two time goals every day. So I want to start becoming friends with my villagers because villagers gift clothing items. And as soon as I can start gifting, then that's a chance that we get the tuxedo jacket. You know? Where's Agnes at though? Buick, you might have the, uh, you might have the older rules. Oh, another leaf bug. Look at that. Are you allowed to sell anything until Nook's Cranny is unlocked? Yes. Oh, here you are. Oh, I don't have reactions yet. Yeah, so the uh, the updated rules, because there was a bunch of different versions of this. But under the daily rules, it says, able to time travel as much as you like. Each day you time travel will cost 10k bells. You can only time travel one day at a time. Certain people got some exclusive. Oh, leaf umbrella. Cool. Yeah, we had to add that because I knew people were going to ask about time traveling. Um, so for markets, there's no time limit or no item limit. Yeah, there's no item limit at all. So you could potentially have like hundreds of items in your market. But are people going to be willing to buy that? You could maybe, let's say, have bundles. You know what would have been a fun class to do? A class that could hold markets every day. And, like, that's how you get income. But I think that would break after a while. All right, let's go another day. I'm actually going to go earlier. Uh, let's go in like the morning. Merchant class. That would be so cool. Wait, did I not close the game? Flipper! Gulliver again? Did I mess this up?
<laughs> no, I did it right. Okay. So now... Is the shop built or are they making the shop? I should have the Gulliver item too. Pat, I found a, lo a fugitive loophole. I know fugitives don't get charged an entry fee but nobody said i couldn't up the price of my items for fugitives i call it my fugitive fee 2000 plus the normal price i mean if you want to if you want to advertise that you're going to charge fugitives more i don't know how enticing that would be for fugitives to come over anyone is welcome to my island The entry fee is the entry fee, you know? Except you gotta pay 3K because I'm a fashionista, so. You know, it, it costs more to be in the presence of greatness, you know? All right, let's see what item I got. Gulliver. Cool. Oh, and I got my wetsuit. Daisy May. I'll be heading to your island every Sunday morning to sell my precious turnips. Just the way my grandma used to. It's Tuesday. Okay. All right. So, I believe we have Nook's Cranny now? Okay. So now my selling to the Nooklings is over. That life is over. Now I have to abide by the rules. That's fashionista, right? Oh, and the wetsuit? How'd you get 30 iron nuggets that fast? I uh, went to two different Nook Mile ticket islands. I hit all my rocks. All right, let's go in the shop. So I have to can sell clothes, flowers, and tree items directly to Nook's Cranny. So yeah, I, I can't sell directly, like any of the fashionista items directly until I get the uh, tuxedo. No, I, I went to one Nook Mile Ticket Island each day. Like, I this is my third in-game day, so I, I just went to one. I'm not breaking the rules. Yes, please move here. I need you. <laughs> Busted. I also... I'm also paranoid. Like, I need to keep... I think I'm, like, going to use the savings for, like, the first time in this game. Because I need extra bells in case I see label or eventually time travel. Like, I need the, I, I need those bells. Finn loves their voices. He's doing the head, head tilt. Oh, my God. All right, I don't need any of this garbage. We do have the wetsuit, but I already got one. Medicine, wrapping paper, test your DIY skills. Let's buy that.
Um, let's see. DIY for beginners already bought. No, I don't want that. Pitfall seed? Yeah, I, I can mess with some people. You can buy that. Uh, wallpaper and stuff? Stitches on my Nook Mile Island? That's a definite get right there. Oh, wait. I was going to say, but I can sell this new clothing item I got, but I don't have the tuxedo on, so I can't. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. Yeah, we got to get that. All right. Where is our... Oh, they have their houses now. Cute. Let's talk to them. Build up that relationship. Maybe a market in Discord has a tuxedo. I think I'm going to go... Sh I think tomorrow's stream is going to be markets. Like, I'll, I'll go to markets and stuff. Officially moved on from tent life. Nice. Yeah, the Dropbox, I could I could drop some stuff in there. I'll be looking for a tuxedo in tomorrow's uh, market. Where is, where's Cody? Cody? Is he in his house? He is. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I can gift already. Go. Give me clothes. They always give you clothes. It's weird. I, I originally in the rules I said one of I forgot what class it was. Maybe forager class. It's not in there still, right? No. I think it may have been fugitive class. Originally you could sell gifted items to to nooks. How are you gonna keep track of furniture? You I think when I get furniture, I'm just gonna put it maybe on the bottom or something. Or, like, go right there and sell it. But we have gifting, which is good. Uh, give me one second. Yeah, fugitives can't sell anything directly to nooks it's kind of, it's it's tough alright I mean but they can go to two nook mile ticket islands in a day so you know it's pretty good that should have been a forager perk honestly alright y'all uh, I'm gonna be on again tomorrow. Oh, I don't have the uh, the zoom in thing. I guess that'll do. I'm gonna be on again tomorrow. We are going to we're gonna be doing day two. We're gonna go to some markets. So maybe I'll visit some some of your islands tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out. Four and a half hour stream. Not bad. 
I hope you are all enjoying the Rags to Riches Challenge. Uh, if you need to connect with more players, join Discord right there. Right there. Right there. There's the link. Yeah, join Discord. Um, meet other Rags to Riches players. And uh, make sure you're wearing the right do-rag. All right. Thank you guys so much. I will see you tomorrow. Peace out. I'm going to eat something. I don't know what. Probably ramen. No, something better. Bye, everyone.